Okay, if I press that button, we should be live. Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for joining us. Let us know if you can hear us and see us okay. Pete's with me. Hello. Rob's here with me. Hi. We're going to be doing Ark Nova with the new expansion. Uh, so I don't actually have the first expansion for this game, which is Extra Maps. Um, but I do have the Marine Worlds expansion, which I picked up. Thank you very much to Frank. Uh, from Fuel and Spiel for giving me a copy of the expansion and we're going to be playing it tonight. Uh, audio and video is good, thank you very much. Not a sponsored video, so we might make loads of mistakes. In fact, let's play a different game. <laughs> let's, let's sneak a game of Mage Knight in. Yeah. Um, so we've all played the base game <clears throat> multiple yeah. times, yeah. but none of us have played the expansion. Right. I've read through the rules briefly this afternoon, um, but well, I'll be doing a bit of a teach at the start. But the first thing we do is, well, we've done the board setup and we've actually got some new bonus tiles. So there's new bonus tiles that get added to the existing bonus tiles. I've shuffled them all together. So we've got some on here. We also have a new bonus tile here. So now whenever you are at 15 reputation and you would gain one, you may choose to take that bonus tile instead of having an appeal. If you don't take the bonus tile, then it's there for the next player who does it. But basically, there's an extra bonus tile there, which I can't even see. It's a take oh, to get a university. University. Right. Um, okay. The other thing is we've done, and you may notice that we've, we've not got the cards where they should be, just for the purposes of the camera. So our three conservation projects are America's Sea Animals and Australia. So Sea Animals is the new thing with this expansion. Everything with the octopus on uh, is a sea animal. This one here. And... Yeah, we'll, we'll use the row above that to put our conservation projects that we play. Right, so one of the big things with this expansion is replacement action cards. So what you've currently got in your hand at the moment is you have the five basic action cards, which look slightly different from the ones from the original game, because they've visually changed them, but they do exactly the same as what they did before. So specifically, if you look at the animals card, it used to say... You may also play an animal from the within reputation range. It doesn't say that anymore because it's now an icon. So that means you can play it from your hand or within reputation range. And the reason why they've got rid of the text on the card is because some of the new cards have lots of extra text and it, it wouldn't fit on there. So we've each got a set of the basic five action cards. However, what we do before we start playing is we're going to draft some new action cards. So there are four different versions of each of the action cards in there. Okay. I'm going to give them a shuffle. And what we're going to do is each player is going to get three of them. Yeah, it doesn't actually say you shuffle them and deal three to each player, but I'm pretty sure that's what you do. It just says each player gets three of them at random. Okay, so we're each going to get three of these, three of these cards. I can kind of see him, so I'll, I will look. There we go. Right. And then what you're going to do is you're going to keep one of them and pass two to the left. And then of the two that you get, you will keep one of those and pass the remaining one to the left. You will then have three action cards. And out of those three action cards, you choose two of them to play with. And the other one gets discarded. And that replaces the basic cards. Does that make sense? Now, you are not allowed to keep three cards of the same type. It could happen, it's very rare, but I could, for example, take a sponsor's card here, and then I could take a sponsor's card that you give me, but then the third one hopefully isn't sponsors. If that happens, you do something else. But basically, choose one of these cards. If you've got any questions about what they do, because these are quite unique, I've not looked at any of them yet, but here is an explanation, a full explanation of what they all do, which is quite a lot of information. Okay. But have a look at it, see if you can work it out. They seem yeah. to be kind of better than they are the better. basic one. They, yeah. are, they are better. There may be some silence while we're while we're doing this. Mm -hmm. Um I'm going to take that one, because I don't really know. This one seems to fit with my, my board special ability, okay. so I'm going to take that. Okay. I'm going to pass those two to you. Okay. I won't look at those before. No. Okay, then I'm going to take that one. 
And so we'll be keeping all three of these that we end up with. No, you'll be keeping one of those. So the, I keep this one and pass the other two on. Yeah, and then you pick up those two. Pick up, so I put them with the that, other one. That uh, goes that there. Goes pick, choose one of those. Right. Mm. Okay. So this one says uh, digging. It's got an icon with a pig on it yep. and a number. Yep. Digging. So three. digging is there's two options for digging you either discard a card from your hand and draw a replacement okay or you scrap a card from the display you scrap a card from the display and replace it yeah okay oh, that sounds interesting and then you take that one so they're your three cards out of those three cards you choose which two you want to play with wow. and you discard the third one okay All right, i'm going to discard that one and then those two cards replace the basic ones. And then, as usual, animals goes in one, and then the rest of them go in the other places. Does the new expansion change solo in any way? Slightly. O only with the new rules. Um, yeah. And they've officially now said that this space here, which was a limit on 25, well, if you now start the solo game on 20, you actually treat that as if it's 45. Oh. So they've, they've given you a counter to put, to put there. Thanks. Which should have been in the rules anyway. So these replace the actions of the same type. Yes. From, uh, no. Okay, so when we first use our special card, we'll explain to people watching what it does. Right, now that we've drafted the card, we now continue doing the rest of setup, which is two final scoring cards each. Okay, final scoring cards can go over here. Uh, and then we get the eight zoo cards. As always with these playthroughs, if you are watching this and you know the game and we make a mistake, let us know. Well, that's a new one. Thank you very much. Thank you. And then out of those eight, keep four. Right. More silence as we <laughs> stare at the cards and work out what the heck we're going to do. So what do we want? We want American Australian sea animals. I probably should explain how the new sea animals work. Um, yeah. Is saltwater crocodile, is that a sea animal? I, I, I'm just going to show you this. Ooh, pumped, um, pumped because th rest. this is a good uh, a good description. If not, I've, I've set my autofocus. Yeah, look at that. Autofocus is much better than it was. Except you can't see it now. Right, so first of all, the red hex means that this is a size 3 animal, but it's red, meaning it cannot go in a size 3 enclosure. Make sense? Yeah. What it can go in is an aquarium, and it takes up two spaces in an aquarium. So aquariums are the new thing that you can build, and you can build a small one, or you can build a large one. You can only build one of each during the game. Yeah. They have to be built next to water. They give you a water icon. They do not have to be next to each other. Uh, but that will take up two spaces in an aquarium, so you actually just put little counters. And it's not quite realistic, but you could put one in there and one in there. Right. Yep. Mm. Um, that is a requirement that means you need to have a partner university. So partner universities are a new thing. Ooh. So there's actually four universities available each round. And yeah. when you take this one, what you do is you put that one there and you take one of those ah, right. and that's the university that you've got. And it's got to be a... And that requires partner university for sea animals. Okay. So that's a very specific one. This over here is a reef dweller ability. Whenever you play a card with a Reef Dweller ability, you get that ability and the Reef Dweller abilities of all other cards that you've previously played. So they combo together. Um, and what's the 
Reef. Well, that is explained there. Oh. So that is an extra shift. You take one of your workers back. Oh, okay. They, they come home and they work again. Oh, right. Yes, that's good. The other thing to mention is this wave icon. So this wave icon does nothing at all when yeah. you play it, but it means whenever we reveal a card from the top of the deck, if it lands on here and it's got the wave on it, we remove the one in the number one position and we slide down. So it, there's there's more cycling of the row. Okay. Um, mm. Yeah, so that that's basically how the sea animals work. Um, I've, actually, I've actually swum with those scuba diving. Uh, I've no, I know them as Napoleon wrasses, not humpheads. They're enormous. <laughs> um, there may be other things on. If you get a card and you're not sure what it does, then yeah. just just let me know. Uh, right, so, what am I doing? Oh, gosh. So what do we want? American-Australian sea animals. Well, I don't got any of them. <laughs> uh, okay. And what's, what's my new abilities? <clears throat> okay. I need to read what that does because I don't understand that. Sponsors three. Oh, right. Oh. I mean, it'd be silly if I didn't take this sea animal because. I kind of want to experiment with the new stuff. Definitely. Although it's not an American or Australian. Mm. So you get the sea enclosures by paying the normal amount per I per think, space. I think, yeah, you, you just build them normally by paying okay. either four or ten. Okay. Yeah, aquariums. So you can build them with a build car. Okay, thanks. <sighs> okay, well, I'm having that. I'm having that. Oh. Oh, actually. I'm not having that. I'm not standing for that. I don't think I'm going to end up playing any of these, but uh, yeah. yeah. So this is interesting. This is a this is a non sea animal, but from the expansion that also requires. Can you put my discard? Especially, but I don't like the look on his face. So he's going. <laughs> so I've taken two, <laughs> and I'm also going to take. I'm going to take those two. Right. So we've done the four cards, which means we can now do this. And we're ready to go. So other things to explain. Um, done the personal setup, general rules about sea animals, mentioned the aquariums, mentioned the water icon, mentioned the fact that they can't go in normal enclosures. Some of them can. And if it does, then it, it won't it won't be in red. Right. Um, yeah, some of them have other requirements. So if it's got the rock icon, then the aquarium mm -hmm. needs to be next to a rock. Okay. Yeah. Reef dwellers, we've mentioned reef, reef, reef dwellers. <laughs> we've mentioned the wave icon. Uh, we've mentioned the u the new university. That's it. Okay. Kind of mentioned right. It. Right. So, it's me first. How did you play this game again? Oh yeah, who's in action? So what yeah. we're doing is rather than sliding the card down, we're actually just going to use one of these markers, put it on the card to say that's the action I'm doing, perform the action, and then we'll and we'll move it down. So we animals still, first. So we'll do the animals first, and then the yeah. rest of them go okay. in a random order. Uh, 
Uh, right. So, where's my sponsors card? It's on three. And my super new build card. So my my basic build card is build with a maximum of plus one, mm. which is useless when it's in the five. <laughs> mm. But yes, if it was a, if it was advanced, mm. you could build two buildings, adding up to six. And my association actually is here. Ah, uh, right. Don't really want to do a build action and just build a size one thing, but. Oh dear. Right. And I can't do that either. Oh, this is rubbish. I can't actually do any of the things that I want to do. I mean, I could build, but I just don't want to. So I think I'm going to cards. I'm going to do the cards action which is draw two cards. And that's draw from the deck, isn't it? That's not... Yeah, that's draw from the deck. Okay, so I've drawn two cards. And, and break then... two. Oh, and break two. Yes. Uh, and I have to apologise to Paul Richards, who bought me a nice little um, specialised coffee cup to replace this marker, and I can't find it. I've put it somewhere safe, and I don't know where it is. Right, that's me done. Uh, Red, Rob. Okay, so... I'm going to go straight with sponsors. Um, I'm going to play an excavation site, um, which requires five, which I've got. Yep. Um, oh, I forgot we need space to put our cards, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we might need a bit more space than this. So Let's shuffle out to there. Oh, you two have got loads of space, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. Thanks. What was it you need? I need this. Oh, that's from the new kind of fossilized dinosaur. Which means I see it over thing. here. It's a new one. Ah, right. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, it's a wiggly worm. And it gives me the placement bonuses twice. Um, Gain placement bonuses twice for placing this building. So your first building has to be on, on one of the edge. things has to be edge. But it's yeah, it's going to be tricky to place it. To be fair, it's, uh, <laughs> and I want to be covering chaos because of my board power. Yeah, at some uh, point. At some point, you're right, but. Um, the problem is that there's a barrier here. Unless I upgrade buildings, I can't go through there. So if I start mm -hmm. building here, I'm not going to be able to get to there very easily, even though it's close. Pesky designers, eh? Making games hard. Yeah. And all these water hexes are getting in the way as well. So this is um, take a card, isn't it? That my... is... Move, no, move one, one of your place. action cards right. to position one okay. after you've finished okay. this action. Maybe I should just go for the money. I mean... If in doubt. Um, so I'll do that. So that gains me 10 money. Yeah. And I can do two card shifts. Yeah. Uh, move two cards to number one. Yeah. So this goes down first. You put your, you put your barrel on it. He's done that. Yeah. Yeah, done yeah, that. yeah. So that action is finished. Yeah. So that goes to one. Yeah. And, and then, then you can move two more of them. Two more to one. Um. Gonna just pop your money here. Yeah. I think we might need space mm, okay. um for your cards there. Sure. Okay. Um so I'm gonna put this is tricky. You don't have uh, to. It's optional. Mm. Do you mind if I think about this while you can yeah, take right? uh, yeah. okay. I'm gonna go um sponsoring. Oh well, your sponsor's in five. Nice. Yeah. Nice... Are we using the card actions like poison, or are we using the solo? No, oh. we, we're using them. Oh, we? We're not playing the friendly version. So I'm going to play a uh, spotted hyena compound. It's got to go next to rock. Yeah. I was going to. I was going to put it here. Oh, that's not working. That is next. Yeah, that, that works. Yep. That works. That works. It's an upside down. Can I, can I yeah. clip it? No. Oh, yeah. It's got to be. I wanted to get nearer to that. And I want to be adjacent. I think that's the best I can do. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can improve on that. So the other alternative would be going down over here, which I don't want to do. So let's do let's do that. So you've built next to your crane, which I've means built next to my crane. Which means um once during once activated, which it, it, it is it now. Is, yeah. Once during your turn, you may discard a hand card for three money at any one time. Okay. So I've built that, I've put that sponsor down. 
I'm now going to use that power to discard um, a card, a hand card. Yep, three money. Uh, and get three money. Seems to be no point in not using it. Uh, and that's my go. Right. And each time I play a Predator, I get something. Please remember to do that. So my sponsors is now in position four. So I will activate my new sponsors card, and this is play a sponsor with a maximum level of four. So I'll play, and I'm an expert in herbivores, would you? Would you know? Um, and additionally, I may discard a sponsor. Oh, discard a sponsor card. I, I could have discarded a sponsor card to get full money. Fortunately, I don't have another sponsor card. But anyway, uh, so I've done that. So every time a herbivore icon is played in any zoo, anywhere, yeah. I get three money. Are you an expert in flocking herbivores? I am. I am now, now that I know how they work. Um, and that self-triggers, so I've gained the three money. Yeah. Done. Right, so that's me then, is it? Mm. Um, I'm going to go for cards. So this is a new one. I can do digging one first. Okay. So that, that means I can draw a card and discard a card before drawing. Uh, so digging is either mm. discard one card from the display and replenish, right? or discard one card from your hand and then mm. draw one from the deck. Okay. Um, I think I might do that. So I'm going to discard so that discard one. that. Thank you. Draw one from the deck. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just being asked if if I used my ability on my new sponsor card. That's Stephen's question. I didn't because it because was... I wasn't using the action. Well, did I gain money during the action? That's interesting because I played this and then used the um, board action. Yeah, I don't to, think, to I gain don't three money. I don't think that was the card action, was it? No. That was separate from that. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to draw for the dinging. Yeah, for three from the deck, I think, because... Oh, right, yeah. Three from the deck, add them to your hand. And then discard and one. And discard one from your hand. Yeah. And again, we can, can break two. Yeah. And we can be taking our turns while you're yeah while you're thinking. Okay, I'm going to discard that one. Should we have a separate discard up here, maybe? Or... No, that's okay. Okay. Oh, sorry. Go Somebody's... On. Quite rightly pointed out that I took the wrong tile. Did I you? Had, I, yeah, I was watch. I was looking at the tile in the thing, uh, and then yeah. I, I I picked up. You've, the, you've uh, taken a monkey, monkey one. I've got a monkey in monkeys and there. hyenas. Well, they look pretty much the same, don't they? Is it gonna? Is it gonna fit? And and, and I was wanting to go near that, so I was surprised. Uh, and I didn't. So you use don't. That anyway, you didn't use so. that anyway. Okay, right. Cool. Thank, Thank you very you. much, chat. Uh, the rule book analyzes the face up is disc. Yeah, that, that's true. Discard should be face up. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't really matter because we know the draw decks there. But right. So sometimes you get to shuffle and draw from the discard, don't you? Mm. So you need to see what's with, with, with this card here. In fact, <laughs> now I think yeah, I'm going to do it. So I'm going to build, and I can only build basic stuff. But I'm going to build a size five enclosure. Where are those then? Wow. So, where are we going to start? Now, I want to cover spaces around the restaurant. Because if I do, I get more money during the income step. However, with this, I'm pretty sure I can't. <laughs> so, we're just going to go here. Aquariums are, are available as a basic. They are, yeah. Yeah. Get five more money. Oh. So, I have built. And that's it. Uh, the hyena compound is not near a rock, so it needed to be next to a rock. Oh gosh, yes. Uh, am I allowed to say rude words? I can mute the microphones if you want. Just beep. Just say beep. <laughs> okay. Because I, want, I needed, to, I wanted to activate that. Yeah. Because I've done that. I've, I've discarded the card. I've got the three money. Yeah. So what I need to do really is to put this in a position where it activates that and it. Which I don't think there is. Or is it? Well, no, it's, there got, it's either, no, no, it's either there. 
which doesn't work, or it's there, which, which is doesn't work. Rock. So neither so of those survive. Which card did you discard? So I need my card back. Um, was it a goat? Or was it a giraffe? Uh, or was it a condor? Condor. Condor moment. Um, you lose three money. I lose three money. But you did want it. You did want the the reputation. I, so. I, I, I did. So I go up on the reputation track, which is here. Yep. And you get uh, an X token. Yeah. Okay. I think we're good now. Oh yeah, yeah. That's that's the non-full side, isn't it? Too much playing online. <laughs> It'll be fun in a minute. <laughs> Anything might go. Are there any more mistakes it's possible to make that I haven't yet? Yes. Made? <laughs> in fact, I don't even think I paid for my uh, my building oh, either. Bloody sorry. Um, yellow is still not next to a it's rock. Still not no. next to a rock. Oh. Can, can, can I can go? We, should we start again? We start I, again? I think I forgot to pay for my building. Hmm. I did. I think I should be taken outside and shot. It's the real disadvantage with playing games on Board Game Arena in that it it just does so much for you. Right, I'm gonna, okay, I'm I'm gonna go there. Right, so we're taking your X away. So we're taking your reputation away. My my reputation is ruined, um, but I do get to do that, which I don't want to do, yeah. and I get to take a card from within reputation range. Is that? So I could take the leopard, or I can take a card off the top of the deck. I think it lets you do that. Sure, there's a space where all of the icons are explained. You can cover the rep with the can you? something end and the two end parallel to the rock. Well, there. No, that didn't work. Look, it's stuck on the rock. And that doesn't work. So it's it's. No, I'm going to put it there because I want to be close to um, the crane because I want to activate my special power as soon as possible. So it, it makes sense to go there, I think. Yeah, I don't know where the icons are actually explained. They've got to be somewhere. But it, I think it's, yeah, it's take a card from within reputation range because it's got the little hat on it. But you can, you don't have to do that. You can take from the deck, I think. Yeah, I don't, I don't know where that is in the rule book. It'll be somewhere. Mm. Because I don't actually want that one. I won't be able to play. Yes, it's in range or top of the deck. Okay. Thank you. Can you can always take from the deck instead. I thought that was Rang right. I just couldn't find the icon in the rulebook. It's... Anyway. BGA always does it for you. Yeah. Is it now me? Yes. Right. Animals. I can play one animal and I'm going to play... A Cenarius Vulture, mm. which is going to cost me 16, and it requires a size 5 enclosure or size 1 in a birdhouse. Thankfully, I have a size 5 enclosure. Uh, it has no other requirements, and that's it. So it comes into play, and I gain 6 appeal, and it's got Scavenging 3. Shuffle the discard pile and draw 3 cards from it. Add one to my hand and discard the others. And then that will be my go done. Right, I'm going to build. Icon reference is separate to the rule book, says Scott. Yeah, I've been looking at that. There's a glossary, <clears throat> but I couldn't find it anywhere in the glossary. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't find it. Right. One, two, three. Now I get one of these. Sorry, I've jumped the gun a bit. I'll wait for you to finish. No, no, it's all right. Because I'm just I'm just picking which mm -hmm. one of these cards I want. Okay, I'm gonna build um I pay four money and I'd like a size two uh water bar, whatever it's called. Aquarium. Aquarium, that's the one. Piece. Thing. So it has, thing. has to be next to water. Yeah. 
and because I've got this new build card, I can pay an additional three money to build a kiosk. Ooh. Which I'll I would say that works well with your yeah. ability, doesn't it? Some synergy there. Uh, I think Pete's got the kiosks. Can you pass me? Uh, kiosk. Thank you. I seem to be far away from all of the stuff. <laughs> well, hello, Loki. Uh, well, I heard of Loki. I'll see you, Loki. Here he is. Puss, puss, puss. Hello. So, kiosk, you get one. Uh, one money income for everything that they are adjacent to. Come up. Right. Somebody mentioned fish. Come on. Yeah, somebody mentioned fish. Oh, come on, you. There you go. Be with your aquarium. I'm choosing one of these three cards. Look at that. It's like a big cat. <laughs> Monkey? No. What about now? Oh, no. <laughs> Not interested at all. What size enclosure do they need? Cats. I'm going to take. Ah, interested. I'm going to take that one. Carnivores, I suppose they classify as carnivores, aren't they? The icon reference from the original game is a separate sheet. Oh, a separate sheet in addition to the glossary. Aha! There it is. There you go. Thank you very much. Right, what's happening? So, up to you is red. Yeah, I've just been. been red's been. So, it's me. Um, I'm going to build. I'll put my little barrel on the build. <clears throat> what am I going to build? Uh, I want to get in here, obviously. So, um, question is, do I build a th two or a three aquarium, which looks like a good fit, or do I build something else? Two or a five. Uh, the question is, well, the, the, yeah. I'm not going to be building any of the animals that are in my hand, because they're all way too difficult so i'm just thinking about maybe there aren't any fish there aren't any marine species oh there's one isn't there there's that one the, the... that is a sea creature yeah the ray um, am i gonna get that probably not so um so the the the, the aquarium aquaria Let, 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 let's, have a, let's have a size. Well, I could, oh, I could get a, um, a petting zoo in there, couldn't I? You could. But you don't have any petting zoo animals. I don't. <laughs> you just built one in anticipation. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm building, whatever I'm building is going to be in anticipation because I haven't got anything that I can play. So I'll have a double, a two size aquarium and then just trust that. Uh, that cost you four? Trust that it will become. Uh, and now you are next to the crane. Yes. So now you can discard cards for money every turn. Which I will do, and sorry that that condor he was gone, then he was back, and it's gone again. <laughs> it's gone again. Uh, get rid of him for three. That's quite a useful ability. Yeah, I want to try and use it as much as possible. Well, especially because quite often in this mm. game I end up with excess cards in hand. Yeah. When you draw from the deck, you don't know what you're going to get. And it's quite often something you can't use. Mm. I'm just waiting for somebody to tell me I just did that wrong. Cats go in the box shaped in <laughs> <laughs> Right. I am going to perform the association action. And I'm going to send this association worker to here. And I'm going to get one of these new fangled universities. <clears throat> oh, there's something I forgot to mention about these. When you take them, they've got an, an icon on, which is the magnifying glass. This is a new icon. Right. And it allows you to look through cards and take one until you when you get the appropriate one. Oh, okay. Um, mm. So I'm I'm taking Fishy McFish. I'm taking that. Fishy McFish face. Yep. And now what I do is it's explained here. Reveal cards from the top of the deck until you find a card with the depicted icon. Take that card into your hand and tuck the other cards under the deck. So is that something you do once when you take it? You do it? once when you when you take it. So I'm looking for sea creatures. That is not a sea creature. Apparently it's not a sea creature. We may be here sometime. That is a sea creature. So that goes in my hand. And these effectively go on the bottom of the big deck, which is <laughs> off camera. Because I didn't want to put a big stack of cards here because they'd fall over. It would be a disaster. Um 
So nobody can take that one ever because he's gone. Right. And nobody can take one of these until, until the next break. And when we do the next break, that yeah, goes back on. here. So at the moment, it's there. So you're the fish thief. Yeah, and I also think, and I might be wrong on this, I'll check. I can't take another one of these. I will just double check that. Okay, shall I go on with my yeah, turn? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to go for animals, but disappointingly, I'm only going to play one animal. Um, so I'm going to play... Yeah, you can't have any other <clears throat> of new universities. So that's it. A guinea pal, a guinea pal puffer into my new aquarium. Okay. So it cost me 15. Cost you 15. And... Um, Put two cubes. Yep. Thank you. And uh, each, well, I, I guess we're not playing with the PvP rules. So yeah, we are. Yeah. We are. So, yeah. okay, every, every player. So you get that first. So that's a reef dweller ability. Okay. So you gain one reputation. Yeah. yeah. And every time you play a reef dweller ability, yeah. that triggers as well. Nice. So, what's the venom rules? Um, I think it's about you have to pay upkeep until you waste a turn to get rid of it. So, each player ahead of you on the appeal track, yeah. which is both of us. Yeah. What do we get? He's a, venom, a venom token. Um, yeah. Okay. So I, I think that. I don't know where he goes. But... I think yes, like a loan, you have to pay income until you get rid of, it, spend time to get rid of it. Uh, all zoos with a higher appeal place one venom token each on the first X action card from the left. Lowest X card slots where venom equals X. After using an action card with a venom token, discard the token. If you did not discard a Venom token during your turn, and there is still a Venom token on at least one of your action cards, you have to pay two. Right. So if you do that action, the token goes. If you don't do the action, you, you have to pay two. Mm. Thanks, Rob. Mm. Well, yeah, cheers, yeah. Rob. That's all right. Um, it's interesting. Um, so I gain a X token. Uh, when the card with the wave was added, did all the cards slide down one step? Have we added any new card? Yeah, it doesn't in setup, but if a card with a wave gets yeah. added now, which is they what will I, slide down. I did. No, it gets added. Oh, it gets here. added, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the Sorry. wave icon does nothing when you play it. Right. But I gained an X token. Yellow needs to pass tickets to be affected. Oh, is it? Is that this? Yeah, I, I don't think you can be affected by negative oh. conditions until you've reached five. So I think you're right. okay. Oh, I've got, oh okay. I've All right. Because okay. of my um, blooming vulture. Throw your venom back at you. Uh, no, I have to go up five on the on the appeal track. Main point of playing that card, I guess. Um, and I think you can do those things in any order. So you could have done the venom yeah. before moving up five. Yeah, which so. is the, the, probably the best thing, because yeah, yeah. otherwise it doesn't trigger. <laughs> um, but I think that's my turn done. Okay. Hey. Hmm. Okay. Um, let's do something. Ooh. I'm going to do... Um... Do cards, break two, draw three, and discard one out of the whole of my hand. Yeah. Oh, one of those looks interesting. Um, let's get rid of. It's going to be a while before I can possibly play that, so we'll get rid of that. And um, yeah, that's my go. Well, I mean, I could do this just to do nothing, and get rid of the poison. Because it's going to be a while before I do the association action, isn't it? Because I thought of another association worker. And getting an association worker is it's quite tricky. Nobody played any herbivores, have they? No. You've got a bamboo forest there, which might have some synergy for you. I don't want to skip a turn at this stage in the game, but I also don't want to be bleeding money. Uh, sorry about that. You don't sound very sorry. Doesn't well, like, I got hit by it the other day and uh, in a very merciless way. And the, and who was it who hit you with the venom? Um, Stuart. 
Back Stuart. Thing. Yeah. So now we finally get Stuart back in the next time I play, then yeah. we're all even. Yeah. Looking out to you. Karmic quality. As agonizing as it is, I think that's the best thing for me to do. So I choose the association action. I do nothing. I then move it to position one. Gets rid of the tenant. Do it. In fact, can I can I choose the action and get an X token? Because instead of doing the thing, you can always just get an X token. Can't see why not. Sounds. Is that is that right? Am I playing it correctly? Reasonable. It says after using an action card with a venom token, and discard the token. Did I use the action card? Hmm, interesting. So there, there's a rules question. I would have thought so. Ian is saying red does not get the X token. That's okay. Venom basically makes him lose a turn, which is why the friendly variant is better. What What's the friendly variant then? You just don't use any of the yellow tiles. I don't mind using them. Okay, I can get the X token. Take it from red because red shouldn't have got one. Why shouldn't red have got one? Well, I've got um, it says inventive game. No, that's for the solo mode. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. So I can. I choose that action card. I don't do the action. I get the X. But then because I chose that action card, I get rid of the venom. All right. So it's not a completely wasted turn. I got I got an X token out of it. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for pointing that out because I... oh, well, the friendly variant is that you get the solo benefit yeah. instead of the negative benefit. Okay, it's worth considering for next time. But I'm happy to play with the with okay. the interactive. You see, that that came up when we played face to face the other day, but I couldn't remember where that where it said that, and I right. couldn't find it. Is so... it an official? Chat, you just variant? lost us the next. I don't know if it is. I don't know if it's an official variant. We couldn't find it in the book. It's something we've always played, but they couldn't find it. So I don't yeah, know if it's in the... maybe it's one of those when it, it, the game came out and everyone was complaining about the, the nasty abilities, so they did the friendly variant. It's officially posted on BGG. Okay. So it's an official variant, but not not in the rule book. Okay. okay. I'm going to association. Level four. I'm going to take the one that gives me two education. Two of these reputation things. Yep. Yeah. And a research point. Yeah. That's my turn. Uh, well, I'm going to do an association action using my special new fancy card. Um, association task maximum value of five, but Instead of supporting a conservation project, you may hire a new association worker at a cost of five. So there's my five. Oh, wow. I take a new worker. Yeah. And it says also place the worker on five. I'm not quite sure what that means. Place the worker. Well, let's have a look, see what it says in the book. So what is it? Association two. Oh, place the worker on five. That, that's what it means. It oh, on there. It, put it there. You've, you've recruited it and yeah. it's gone on there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, that's my go. Right. So seven money. How are we with the break? It's still one, two, three, four, five, six spaces away. I do have six cards in hand, so I probably need to be playing some of these. Yeah. Okay, so those are those are right out. Oh no. Um. Yeah. Hmm. Kind of hoping people would be playing herbivores, but they're not. We heard there was an expert in herbivores in town. <laughs> yeah. We decided that we'd just run away. I'm an expert in herbivores. There are currently no herbivores in any zoos anywhere. <laughs> All the herbivores have gone. Um, okay, so I think I'm going to build. I'm going to build one thing. Now, do we build this? I can't afford it. Money. Money is a real issue.
Okay, I am going to build a new aquarium. That's what all the cool kids are doing. So it cost me four money. And I can only put it there. Which allows me to draw a card from within reputation range. Do I want that leopard? No. So I'll take that one. No, I shouldn't have paid. Shouldn't have paid five money. Why? Instead of supporting a conservation project, you may hire a new association worker at position five. Oh, brackets. Place, place the, the worker, worker on, on five. five. Oh, okay, so it's you don't pay five. No. It's just you you hire a new worker. And he goes on there. And he goes on yeah. there. Mm. Um I've built that's me done. So who's next? That's me. Um well, we're basically going counterclockwise. Yeah. Didn't matter, did it? But well, I have to place both workers on five. Ah, so that one needed to go there to because... show that I used that because it was an association task. Oh, right. Of... An association task. So I should have put the worker on the five to show yeah. that I was doing the association task. But then instead of sponsoring, instead of... I get you hire a new one. Yeah. Got it. Okay, thank you very much, Stephen. Okay. Um, oh, page five of uh, page eleven of the rulebook has the friendly variant. Okay, so it is. It's going to have a size three enclosure. Uh, I... Yes. You. I'm going to build a size three enclosure. Page six. I'm not seeing yeah. it in my rulebook. But I'm going to spend another five. Um, so that's a total of eleven to build a kiosk as well. You do that. Special oh, abilities. special abilities. Oh no, it's not five, it's three. So I get to, oh, I spent nine total. I put 11 in that. I should have paid only nine. Okay. Um, and you get an X. And I get a kiosk, please. Um, kiosk? Yes, please. Okay, now, please. Animal oh, card layout is where it thank is. Thank you. Uh, which... Wow, okay, yeah. So it, it's kind of hidden. <clears throat> kiosk count themselves yeah, they can't be that close to each other oh, okay right. you could put one there that's okay it has to be two away right yeah yeah thank you uh, put that there set this upside down all the ice cream will fall out right yeah yeah maybe i've got an older rule book i'm not sure okay uh, did we ship the cards after the fish appeared in the display no nothing's changed in the display it so didn't I'm, appear I'm, it was the original these, these are the original six cards could I have an x please Thank you. Oh. Yeah, so, I so we, we haven't space. done anything in the display yet. Um, right. Uh, so that's my turn. Okay. So me build um, barrel on the build. Uh, I'm going to build a three building. It's going to go there. It's going to cost me six. Get your reputation. Does it? I'm not oh, sure. no. uh, I keep gaining and then losing the reputation. <laughs> Right. Um, and that's my go. Right, back to me. Free money. A break is nowhere coming. I've got seven cards in hand and I'm about to lose four of them. Which is crazy. And I, that is an amazing card that will get me five conservation points. However, I don't have a worker. Oh, sorry. Um, I'm going to discard a card and get free money. Yeah, I'd love to do that as well. So, the only thing I can think of playing is that, but I can't. Yeah. This is this is the, the problem that you get into sometimes with this game. You don't haven't got the money, haven't got the worker, loads of cards in hand, most of which I can use, but I've no way of cycling them for money. I need a crane. I think the only thing I can do is sponsors for four to get four money. Wow. And that's still... Oh, uh, no, in fact, no. If I... Mm, that still doesn't give me enough money to do the thing that I want to do.
Wow. I can't believe I'm going to throw away most of these cards. Yeah, okay. So, game four money. Sponsor's card goes down. Are you done? Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. So the break is two away. Stephen says it's rule book one. Yeah. One one, I, so I, I bought this when it came out in yeah. Essen. So friendly variant didn't exist at that point. I'm going to play sponsors. I'm going to put this level five card down. And it says gain one for each connected water space. So I have seven connected water spaces, apparently. If, I, if I'm counting them right. Native seabirds. You do realise that your kiosks are going to be surrounded by seagulls now, yeah. eating chips, eat stealing, the, yeah. stealing chips oh. and pies off the customers. Yeah, they, they'll just buy more. <laughs> it's good for me. Um, can you put me up seven appeal? Seven appeal. Oh. I've started, yeah. And um, so this That's an end of game. Like, yeah. Okay. Right. I think done. that's me done, yep. Right, animals. Um, I'm going to do some animalizing. Uh, it's going to be a New Zealand sea lion. Can that go there? Is it still on the screen? Oh, thank you very much for the kind words about the Frostpunk rulebook. Still can't beat the game. Play on Explorer difficulty level. I can't beat the game on normal. Explorer difficulty is much easier. <clears throat> but it is next to water, so I'm okay. So I just need to pay 17. Oh, well, I've got 17. Any any herbivores anywhere? Yeah. Uh, mine's fine. I've got a predator, if that helps. Uh, yeah. Is it a predator of leaves? I think <laughs> I can help you with your herbivore population if it is too high. Now, I get six, but gain one for each predator icon in my zoo. Well, I've got one. So I get that one, don't I? Two. Oh, two. Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 I get that as well. Yeah, the hyenas right. are... So I get six, seven, eight. Yeah. So I get eight appeal. And then I get to do spotty hyena stuff. So this is whenever you play a predator. Each time I play a predator yeah. into icon into, into my zoo. Yeah. Uh, you get to the topmost well. X cards. So it's, yeah, it's... X equals the number of predator icons. So I get... So to... X cards, take yeah. one animal from what you've drawn, and then discard the rest. Right, so it's so got to be two from, cards, from, from these two, two. I can't mix it with the rest. Correct. Of... Oh, add one animal card to your hand. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so... Is that an animal card? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. An animal so card. Anything that isn't an animal, I can't choose it. Correct. So I'm going to have to. <laughs> okay. And did I sell a card for, for money? I don't think I did. So uh, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to sell. Oh, that's got one of those on it. So I want to keep that. Let's get, sorry, I, I, I like the Galapagos giant tortoise, but I'm going to sacrifice it to get some money. Right. I need eight and I've got seven. I just keep getting more money. Um, I get rid of it. Well, I need the money. <laughs> I've got a handful of cards. Um. Yeah, the problem is I triggered the break. I'm going to lose three cards, but I can't. I can't see any other way around this because I can't play any animals because I don't have the money. I can't play association because I don't have any workers. I could build, but it's not going to get me anything. So I think I'm going to trigger the cards action. Break two, hmm. which means I get the X. So I can draw three and discard one, or I could snap any one card. Snaptastic. Now, considering I'm about to lose most of these cards anyway. Thanks, Ian. I don't know whether there's any of these that I want. Particularly. So I think I'm going to take. I don't think I've ever discarded this many cards before. Any other goals? No other goals. Oh. Right, so now I've got to discard one from here, and then we're going to go into a break where I need to discard down to three. 
So I might as well just discard down to three cards from, from what I've got. And we all do the same. So we all discard down to three cards, unless you've got special universities. Mm -hmm. Or I've got three cards. <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> just me then. Um. So. <clears throat> no, we discard. If we did still have any... Venom if we had any venom tokens, we'd lose them. We'd, we'd lose them. Then we restock all of the stuff. Then we get rid of those two. If you wanna, if you wanna do that bit. Okay. So that comes back. Uh, we get. Where is it? Where is it? That one. What we're gonna do is, do you wanna slide down and draw two new cards? Yep. And then if any of those have a wave icon. Okay. Well, I've got to take that. That's absolutely got to keep. As for the rest of this stuff, I had a plan for that. So I've got to keep that one. But the rest of it, it's all a bit. There's an interesting new sponsors card here. This is an expansion area, and it tells you that if you take this, it's an advanced sponsors action. If you, you treat all three space enclosures that are on at least one border space as five space enclosures, Ooh. if you've got that, that's mm. interesting. Not getting any cards that combo. So, wow. All of my plans. <laughs> so we've done that, we've done that, and now income. So I get 10. Oh, it's not very much, is it? No, I get 10. Oh dear. Pete, you get 12. Yeah, just 12. And Rob, you get 14, 15, 16, 17. So I think I get two from each kiosk. Oh, that no, doesn't, doesn't, count. Count. doesn't count. Oh, okay, so 17. Yeah, 17. Cool. I could have used the X token to make the sponsors a five. Don't know when that was. Earlier, yeah, I could have done, but it wouldn't have, wouldn't have helped me. I always think X tokens are too powerful to use like that. We didn't. No, no new waves came out, did no. they? No. Right. Okay. Um, and that's it. That was my go done. Well, still don't have much money. <laughs> Where's my go? It is your go. Um, so digging, you can discard one and then draw one and it comes on the end. You, uh, you can get rid of one from here. Yeah. And then it slides down and we get a new one. Or right. you can discard one from a hand and draw a new one. Okay, I'm going to get rid of one. Um, oh, yeah, Keith's saying, yeah, if I had a sponsor for that extra one, I would have had eight. And then I could have played that little fishy. I'm going to get rid okay. of the bamboo forest. So that goes. Yeah. We will slide down. Okay. And then... And it has a wave, which means well, that goes and we slide down again. Again. Does not have a wave. Right. And then it's break two. Oh, that should be there. Break two. Um, and then I can either snap or I draw three and discard one. Mm -hmm. And I can't take from within reputation Correct. courage until I've upgraded it. Yeah. So um so if I want, say, this one, you I'll can, have to you snap. Can have that one. Yeah, snap it. Yeah. I think I might just uh snap it. Okay. So that's yours. And it's a wave. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, spider monkey, you just drowned. And that goes Ooh. back. Conservation projects come out. Ooh, blue oh, blue we got blue. to take back workers. We did. We got to take back workers. I'm about to use my worker, so we <laughs> would have remembered it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 
Well, I'm going to play sponsors. Sponsors for five. But I'm not going to play a sponsors card. I'm going to take five money. So break five. Break five. Uh, five money. And because you gained money, you gain an extra three, which is your special ability. Bonus. Three. And then I'm going to throw away try a card. card. Yeah. I don't want that one because it's got an Australia thing on it, but get rid of it anyway. Um, get rid of that one and get three money. Right. Sponsors go for one. So you'll like this. I'm going to spend an X token to do an association with a value of five. I'm going to play a conservation project. And you know this Cinerius Vulture? Yeah. I'm oh, going yeah. to release it into the wild. And it's size five. So that size five thing becomes available. That gets released. Flap, 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 Is that really flap, a good flap, idea flap, in Columpton? Yeah, it'd be fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, so it goes on there because it was big. Wow. I get five of these. No, don't you take it off? Here. Don't think so. Yeah. Oh, no, you do, don't you? Yeah, you do. It's an association. Right, okay. Well, I'll come to that in a minute. One, two, three, four, five. So all, all sorts of things are now going to happen. Ugh. So you had a size five creature. Oh, you lose the ticket, yeah. so you lose the value of the... Uh... Do you? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Can you get negative in this game? I'm back down to zero. I forgot you'd lose that. Where did... Yeah, so that, that five should be flipped over, should it? Or... It is. Right. So you flipped it back to... to I flipped it back because it's now empty. Okay. Yeah. Still, that's quite quite strong. So I'm, I'm going to get that ability. Yeah. I'm going to get one of those. And I'm going to get one of these. Mm -hmm. Now then. That vulture is going to be fighting your seagulls over Rob's chips. <laughs> Even more uh, demand for food. But the customers, only the customers are going to pay for it, aren't they? So the purple ones are one-off and income. It's a bit like uh, the way we're governed in this country. Well, I know what I'm going to well, do empty cage. with that. And the money's always nice. But I think, yeah, I'm going to take the five money. So I get five money now. And I'm going to get five money each income phase. And that goes on there. Right. Now, which one of those two do I want? Oh, They're both good. Flipping a card, I always think, is the best to start with. I'm going to flip my build card. Right. Now, this one, this is a new one. So this is a bonus tile that when you get it, you take it. And it has a once per game ability. And when you've used it, you flip it over. I don't know, I quite know what that once per game ability is, but we will find out. Um, you may use this tile as any icon when supporting a base conservation project. Ooh. So it basically gives you one of anything. One of anything. That one is build three pavilions and or kiosks. Oh, yeah, yeah, indeed. So that is actually quite nice as well. Hmm. Uh, so many options. Or I could just take five money, which I'm not going to do. I do like that, but I'm going to leave that for somebody else. I'm going to take this one. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to build three. Could I build uh, one kiosk, please? And I'll have two pavilions. We just flip them over, guys. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. So one kiosk is going to go there. Then one pavilion is going to go there, and one pavilion is going to go there. So that's two appeal. This saddens me greatly. What was that? Master. Did you want that? Because I'm the king. Oh, you're the king of pavilion. Uh, kiosk, <laughs> kiosk, aren't you? The kiosk king. But my park restaurant is now open for business. Yeah. It's going to start generating me money. 
Right, have I done everything? I did that, I did that, I did that. I got my money. I've released the bird into the wild. And that is me done. Oof. Wow, that was a the mammoth turn. It was. I think I was right to keep that card. I haven't got mammoths, have we? No. Also remember you get one reputation for playing the conservation project. Oh, yes, good spot. Guess better. You done? Yeah. I'm going to go association. Association four. I'm going to take this. Yep. So one reputation, yep. which gets you to flip a card. And that gets me to flip a card and, as well. Wow. Double flip. Double flip, flip sir. Yep, um, I think I'll flip my build. Yeah. It was a good one. Because it's the new advanced build. <clears throat> Maybe I'll... Uh, Picking mm. two. Uh, it's not, it's not that, that great. I think... Uh, Oh, sorry. Do you mind if uh, do you want to go ahead while I think about this? Yeah. Okay. okay. Right. Um, I'm going to go cards. Um, break two. Break two. And I'm going to snap. Oh, but do I go? Oh, yeah. That I. I'm sorry, guys, but it's going to have to be the. The blue, venomous, the blue ringed octopus. It just looks so cool. <laughs> yeah, it's going to make me very unpopular around it's the table. A European pond turtle. Okay. Well, not not for me. <laughs> I'm down <laughs> here. And that goes down. Although the that that's about to go up because the other card that I chose to keep in my hand was a size five animal that cost seventeen, and mm. I <laughs> got a size five kiosk, and I had seventeen money. And you got seventeen money. Well, I know what 22, but yeah. Um, so this this allows me to play two animals, but I'm willing to play one. It's a cheetah. No, oh, that's what I need. Uh, it has no requirements. So it comes in. I get me six appeal back. And it's got sprint three. More cards that you might have to discard in a minute. Well, I don't. I don't have eight cards in hand. I've only got four, so no, I'm, no. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Right. Done. Slightly quicker turn. Yeah, that was quick, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, we're also playing old scoring rules because I haven't yet written the little numbers on these. That's when I get round to doing that, we'll play new scoring rules. Right. I've got everybody's favourite card. Okay, I'm gonna the was a large animal. Oh, yes. I'm going to gain. Uh, yeah, for the cheater. Oh, yeah, thank you. I'm going to pay an X to do a level five build. Okay, so what's your special build ability then? I can pay two now. Oh, instead three. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going, to, I'm going to do that in a minute, but now I'm going to pay 10 to build a level five uh, reptile, a level five aquarium. Oh, right. Okay. And a further two. Thank you. For a kiosk. For a kiosk. To go with it. Oh, this is. Oh no, I've already screwed this. Has to go next to water. Does that count as water? No. So basically, I've uh, screwed myself up for the rest of the game. <laughs> you can't have any more fishies. Uh, yeah. Oh well. Uh, yeah. Okay, that was a noob error. Change your plan. Uh, th well, I can't build this. Um, I can build two buildings. I might you not build use... one or any number. Might not use the X in that case. Yeah. Um, you spend your ten. I spend. I take my ten back. Yeah. I didn't realise that was how it works. Yeah, it got to be next to water. Yeah, because my water's all on one side. That's that's the thing. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I'll spend two to build a level two. Uh, four to build a level two aquarium. Please. Uh, you can only have one of each. Oh, can you? Yeah. Right, so I'm, yeah. No more fishies. That's terrible. Right. Um, you can't upgrade this to a... No, probably not. Right. I think because it's a learning game, I will let you build another level two aquarium. You want it to? Because we're all learning. Uh, well, that's very, there. very kind yeah. of you. Yeah. So you're not supposed to be able to build 
two of the same, uh, but we'll we'll allow it. Thanks. That's that's makes it makes a big difference because I, I was pretty badly off otherwise. In terms of the cards that I've been taking. Um, what have you covered over with that? An X. Oh, uh, right. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for letting me off the hook there. <laughs> and I'll pay the two, which I... Keithy's saying somebody did exactly the same in the last game he played as well. Yeah. yeah. I just Definitely didn't... something to watch out for. I didn't know that. Yeah. Or I didn't realise. Yeah. So, um, no, I've got a kiosk. Could I have a kiosk, please? I'm going to put a stack of them over next to you because you're... Yeah, well, yeah, it's got oh, that's uh, optimistic, but yeah, I'll go there, which lets you build another one. No, no it's, it's only covered. when they're all covered. Oh, yeah, you, get, uh, you can't build it there, I'm afraid. Oh, it's too close they to that one, two away from each other. Oh, put it there, put it there. That's the only place I can build it, isn't it? I think, yeah, yeah, might as well, given that I've got a free chance to build ones. Sorry, your your ice cream caravan just got clamped. <laughs> yeah, I need to. I should really have been more aware of the rules, but right, neat. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do an association task. Uh, I'm not going to do a level. I wanted to do a level five and do the same thing again and get another as worker, which would have been brilliant. But I got a much better thing. I think I can do is go there and take that university. Um which makes sort of go bump bump to there mm -hmm. i get two of those and um and then i get to, to, to trash a card oh I three money i don't want to because i've got my oh, cards okay. are too good i should yeah that's because i because i snapped mm. with my cards action it meant i didn't have the extra cards to then use okay um so that's my go i'm a sponsor for Trigger another break. Mm -hmm. So I get four money. But also, I can discard a sponsor card to gain four money. Okay. Right, and now we do a break. So everybody discards down. Done that. I've got three cards now. Yeah. I've got four, but my mm -hmm. nasty tokens go. Workers come back. Yeah, replenish. Uh, we replenish. Nobody's taking um, <laughs> partner zoos. Normally the first thing that goes. Mm. Okay. Well, replenished. Replenish. Replenish uh, that. that goes. That goes. Right. Any waves? No. Nope. No waves. And no. No waves. Right. That's that done. And now income. So I get 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Why'd you get double of those? I get one for each space oh, covered next to that. So. Uh, 17. Oh, I just get 12. Oh, and another point. Yours is 12. Rob, yours is 14. Can I have some more money? I think it's 18 there. total. Didn't get to spend it. Yeah. So your kiosks are giving you one, two, yeah. three, four. Yeah. Just took eighteen. Okay. So we all get the monies. That goes back to that. Right, Rob, you'll go. I'll right. get an X for triggering the break. Thank you. Right. So if you should say about the uh, partner zoos, I'm gonna play an X to do this. Association of three? <laughs> yeah. Which one do you want? I will take the Green one, please. The Asian one? Yeah, sorry, I'll do that. Um, so there's my X. Thank you. And the worker. And the worker. <clears throat> yeah. And I will also pay um, two money to make a donation. Is it two money? Uh, oh, wow, you've upgraded the association card. Yeah. Yeah, so this does come from here. Okay. You get, um, uh, get uh, things. Conservation points. Yeah. <clears throat> Right, and that's me done. I'm going to build. Uh, I'm going to build a big aquarium. Because I can. Are you going to take a Pokemon of it and send it to Rob? Uh, yes. Um, so I'm not you... going to invite him to break a bottle of champagne on it. <laughs> um, Which is 10 so money. 10 money, yeah. 
on that. Right. No, no, no. Let's go there because it gets me an X. Please, can I have an X? Thank you. And that's me. Oh, I can. Just, I'm not going to do that. I'm wasting my special thing because I've got enough cards. Mistake. Note to self. Right, that's my go. Right. So. Hmm. Just having a look to see if any of these are of any use at all or any of them match any of these. The answer is no. So, do I build? Oh, this is interesting. So my upgraded build is build with a plus one, build one or more different buildings, and I can build more than one of the same standard enclosure. Oh, all oh, right, it's useful. Mm. So I can build are... lots of little size ones. These are standard enclosures, are they? I don't believe they are. No, right. standard enclosures are just the normal okay. one, two, three, four, five. Right. But normally, with a build action, you can build one or more different buildings. Right. But... My ability, if they're standard enclosures, I can build multiples of the same, but I don't think I want to. Mm. Yeah, so. Definitely need more animal cards. Are we interested in this little fishy? I think we are. Okay, so I am going to build. I've got X plus one, so I can build... So I can spend 12 to build six spaces worth of stuff. Now, I think I need to probably build one of these. If I'm going down this route. See, everyone is these days. <clears throat> so that's 10 and I can put it. Here. So that's covered over draw one card from reputation range, which is that one. Um, and then with the extra two, I'm going to build probably a kiosk. Down here. There. Okay. So, that's that done. Yep. Yeah. It's not a wave. Right. Okay, I'm going to build... Two. Yeah, nobody's got any partners. Either. Yeah, we normally go straight from them as well, Thomas. To get that discount. Yes. Well, I've got this one, which right. I'm going to use now. To build two animals. Um, Both for major. Yeah. So it would cost 32, but because I got that, it cost 26. Yep. Uh, so yeah. 26. And there's your other little zoo full. Because mm. they both take up one space. Mm. Um, but you play one of them first. Yeah. And then you get to trigger the reef dweller ability on that and all other ones. Yeah. So I'll play the X first. So I get an education. Is that? Yep. Yeah, and, and do I get the X when I play it as yep. well as when I play yep. another? Yeah. So everything I'll... self triggers. Great. Thank you. And then the second and one. And then the second one, I get the education again. Yeah. And another X. Yeah. And a digging. And a digging. Okay. Yeah. And a digging means I can discard a card from hand or from here. Okay. Um... Cool. You're zooming your reputation up. Yeah. I think I'll discard this for no apparent reason. Okay. And um, yeah. Is it a wave? It is a wave. So the sponsorship for elephants disappears. <clears throat> we don't want no elephants here. Oh. And it's the free range world, new world monkeys. Right. Um, but can you also put me up 13 on the rep truck? 
on the um on the appeal on the appeal track. Right. So thirteen, so it's twenty six. Yep. Wow. Right. Big uh, moves. Done. Well, thanks for letting me. Did pick. Red play the new underwater tunnel? Uh, yes, but we allowed him because he's he's messed up his play. Yeah, but we allowed so, him. Yeah, yeah. You're not supposed to be able to. No. I don't know why. Since he's beating everybody. Yes. <laughs> well, if I win, I won't. It will be a hollow we'll victory. Put a next to it. Yeah. 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 We'll we'll just say that I won. Yeah. yeah. E even if I won. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to um, sponsors do sponsors. I'm going to boost it with an X to fight level five and play a spokesperson, um, which uh, I have the research requirement. It means each what time I we should pull that. Oh yeah, each time I play a research icon, I get space. Um, Reputation. And and that it, counts as it self one refers, thing. yeah. So I get one. And, and I think that's it for me now. That's all I go. Yeah. So, Rob, um, Paul. Not too many. So, I can do it. I don't want to do it until I've done that. So I'm going to association for four, and it's going to be it's going to be this one, which is two reputation, and I get to flip a card. <sighs> Well, my sponsorship card has been upgraded. And it's very nice. Yeah, I'm going to upgrade my sponsorship card. Uh, that's me done. Okay, uh, I'm going to sponsor... Play this level f four card. Uh, which just gives me extra income for each kiosk and other zoos I gain one in income and I think it does it you immediately place a kiosk yeah immediately place a kiosk yeah okay yeah if I can yellow so, lightning bolt means immediately oh uh, I don't think I can ah so maybe I need to rethink my strategy um oh but you're going to get money oh because you're franchising my kiosks Apparently, yeah. Uh, Rob's sandwiches. Yes, but I'm I'm going to miss out on the free. You will, yeah. So actually, maybe it's not the best time to play that. Okay. Um, I will, because I want to build something else first in order to get the space. Um, yeah, I'll go for the. Uh, so where do I get money? So actually, if I do the sponsors, break X, gain X. Five? Yeah. Five money? Yep. That's easy enough. Right. Done. Uh, I'm going to go association at level three, um, which is a bit suboptimal, but there it is. And I'm going to take that Australia, which is also suboptimal because, oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it anyway. But if that's what you want. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. That's my go. Suboptimality. Yes, I'm king of the suboptimals. Stephen <laughs> says he got this card. It's totally overpowered in three and four player games. Yeah. That kiosk one that give, right. gives money for other people's kiosks. Right. Does seem extremely yeah. good. You're aware of it now, though, so you can not build any more kiosks. Yeah, but I want kiosks. All right. <laughs> So I'm going to eyeballs, and we're going to have a the humphead rasa. Yeah. So I need to have a partner university, which I have. It cost me 22, which is 
most of my money. Um, it takes up two spaces in an aquarium, so I'll put him here on his own. And the ability is that I get a worker back. And I get one conservation point and six appeal. Right. And that's my animals card played. You done? I am. I have no money then. I'm going to do the cards action. I'm going to dig. I've got no real. Oh. So let's let's dig away that thing. Get rid of that. Thank you. And um, and I can snap now, can I? Um, as my card draw. So I might just snap this. Okay. Oh no, I can never You've play. Got it. No space for fishies. I'll never play it. That's yeah. So in that case, um, I'll draw three cards. And yeah. What, there might be something else actually. You can't play that because you're too good. All right. And herbivores are a bit pointless for me. And everything else. Uh, break two for the cards action. Good point. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to draw three from. Draw here. three. Keep one. And just oh, sorry, discard one. one. Yeah. What are you doing, that? Should I have my go? Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to do some. I'm going to get animalistic. Two animals. Two animals. Right. I'm going to play. Uh, I've, uh, uh, finally, my game looks as though it might be getting off the ground, or at least under the water. I'm going to play a Caribbean reef shark. Oh. Um, which so... costs me twenty. Yeah. But it's a, it's yes, it cost me twenty. I've got no discount. It's going to require three cubes. Yep. Well, this is an easy one because I can't ever play that. So. And it gets me uh, advancement here. Yep. Which is flip a card. Flip a card, which is going to be my five appeal. Um, I think it's going to be that one. Or possibly no, it's going to be that one. And it is the shark attack. Yes. So... Shark attack one. So you discard one animal from the display within your reputation range, and you get half of its appeal rounded down. So that's sorry. Let's let's eat a, a, a European <laughs> pond turtle. Oh, sorry. So you gain gain two appeal. Nice. Yeah. And because it's a predator, I've got three predator act. Um, Three predator icons, icons. So I reveal the topmost three cards and add an animal to my hand. There you go. When it says reveal, does yeah, it mean it it's it's reveal? Well, uh, which one am I going to choose? The I animal. think I'm going to choose the one that's an animal. <laughs> uh, trigger fish. They're evil. They are so territorial. They just come out. And they take chunks out of you. I, I came across one that was enormous. And anyway, uh, anecdotal anecdote time. Uh, right, that so that was my first um, animal. Yes, I got my that, and I got that. You did. I gave you the five. I should have done it the other way round. Sorry, can I can I do it the other way round? Okay. Play the other card first. Right. You're probably going to say no when I. Is the other card going to poison me? Yes. Two, three, four, five. So um, I was going to play the octopus. Okay. So before no, no, that, no, 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 I'm not. I'm not going to do that. I'm not okay. going to do it. I'll do, I'll do it this way round, for a good reason, because I'm going to play the octopus. I get a discount of three, so it only costs me nine. Because it's Australia, yeah. Yeah. It takes up one space in a aquarium. Um, and I didn't play this, this this way around to be nice to you. I played it this way around because... You get three money for that, and you do the shark attack again. Three money? Yeah, that's three money. Oh, yes. But three money for that. Yeah. So I get that. Should did, should, should that have replenished? We have. Should it have replenished, though? Cause oh, Good question. Should that not have waited until the end of the turn? It probably won't make too much. Yeah, time. I don't know. Question for the chat. When when does the row replenish? Do you wait till the end of your turn or is it is it immediate? I never remember. So each player ahead of me gets a venom token. So that's going to be you, Rob. No. Get venomized. It was on just, the first card. Just teach you to, it's just venom one, is it? Just teach you to get near my octopus. Is okay, it? it's end of turn. Right, so that shouldn't... So we shouldn't have seen that one. We shouldn't have seen that one. These shouldn't should have seen be... that one. These should all still be there. As far as that? Okay. Uh, I, I can't remember which one was there. What was it you ate? 
Uh, those don't matter because I'm. It's not. Gonna it matter. was that. I, I ate that one. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so because I played the octopus, I, I paid for it. Uh, I get four there. One, two, three, four. And and then I. You've done the venom. Then yep, but you do get to, get to trigger the, the shark. I get to trigger that again. So yep. I get to the shark gets to eat something else. So he's going to eat um, a porcupine or a I don't know porcupine. Let's eat a porcupine. Okay. So you get is it, is it rounded down? down? It's rounded down. So, so I get, you get one more. I effect. get one, which is less impressive than it might have been. Yeah, it could have been, could have been an there. elephant. That would have been quite something, <laughs> wouldn't it? <laughs> I'll have to work on that. Uh, right. So that's I think that's my go. So you played your two animals. Yeah. Now everything slides down. So that comes out and has got the wave on it. Uh, and that comes out and then that comes out. Horse Whisperer. The herb herbivores are a bit, uh, bit quiet tonight. Maybe they're scared of the fireworks. Well, the shark's quite interested in herbivores, especially big ones. It's me, isn't it? So I got one money. Got three cards in hand. I do have my worker. So I could potentially... Yeah, I could potentially association for three and get a university. So let's do that. Let's association with an X three. Go here. Oh, okay. God. Sorry. <laughs> what I wanted is not there. So, do we get an American university, even though I've got no American animals whatsoever? Hmm. Okay, now, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to associate. I'm going to sponsors. I'm going to keep my X because this is... No, nope, I am going to use the X and I'm going to break five. One, two, three, four, five, and I get ten money. Because it's, and additionally, I can discard a card to gain four or reduce the level of play. Yeah, so I'm going to discard a card to get another four. Wow. Breaking a lot today. I am. And then that goes to there. Oh. If you get the new iconography, I could have played a sponsor card from within range, but never mind. Uh, right, so I get the X token for triggering the break. Everybody discards down. I'll get rid of this now. Yeah, Venom tokens go. We workers come back. There you go. And we replenish. <clears throat> That one. And these two cards go. Right. Not a wave. Not a wave. Okay, and then income. So I get 14, uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 27. Well, on my basic 17. 23. Are you done? I think so. Yes. Right. I'm going to go to the association and I'm going to put my work here. here. Association 4? Yep. Yeah. Um, and oh ah uh, yes so i'll take this one mm -hmm. you've already got that one. Oh, 
Ah. Don't have to say more twice. Yeah. Like, messes things up a bit. All right, I'll take this one. Yeah. So See. I don't get the extra worker then. You gain a conservation point. Yeah. Which is an extra worker if you want it. Yeah. I think I will actually take the extra worker. Okay. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that's it, isn't it? Oh, and a, mo a donation. So I spent five. Five. For another one. For another one. Take it off. And then association goes to position one. Yes. Cards break two. Bonk, bonk. Um, draw four. Two, three, oh, four. It's improved. And discard and one. Discard one. And then I'm going to um, uh, scrap one to get three money. Still nobody's played ahead at all. That's my guess. Yeah, Stephen is reminding, if you do take that worker there, Rob, you will only ever get to upgrade three of your action cards during the game. Yes. The yeah. last action card upgrade for you is there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm wondering about the usefulness of some of these, though. Um... Right. What am I going to do? Got loads of money. How are we looking for sea animals? That's quite nice. Wow, right, it's quite nice. Hmm. Okay. I can't play animals from within range. So the only way for me to get this is by snapping it, which seems a little weak. Hmm. Oh, I know what I can do. That's draw a card from within reputation range. That's how I can do it. So let's let's do that. Let's build. So I've got I can build ten. So I, I will spend ten to build five spaces worth of stuff. So, what are we going to build? Um, well, it's interesting because I can build multiples of the same standard enclosure if I wanted to. I really don't know what I'm building. <laughs> so, Let's have hmm. I've got ten. I'll have a pavilion there. Got four left. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll take a two and another two. Because I'm allowed to do that. I'll put that there. And I'll put that there. So that gets me to take a card from within reputation range. And gain one reputation. Good. Which allows me to a flip a card over. Throw one on the floor. So the one that I'm going to flip over is going to be association because that's what you need to do donations okay build action is done that gets to there Shall I go? yeah let's see what we get it's not a wave it's a science museum all right i'm going to build a um large bird aviary for 10 so i'm going to spend another two for a pavilion, sorry, a kiosk. Thank you. So you may immediately move in any birds that can occupy that. 
from my hand from existing enclosures. Uh, no, ones that you've already played, which are in right. existing enclosures, you can now move into that. Okay, I don't have any. Right. Um, but I do get this thing, which is uh, put something back to zero. No, it? it's player sponsor card. Right. From hand by right. paying the cost in money instead of the number, something like that. You've got a special ability that allows you to build two of the same building, haven't you? I have, yeah. Yeah, so yeah that's, 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 that's why I, I'm not yeah. going to do that. It's the, mm. it's the new special upgraded uh, build action. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm just going to. Don't do that. Yeah, play a sponsor card from your hand by paying no. X money where X is the level of the card. Yeah, I'm not going to do this one. I think play a sponsor card. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that's me done. Okay, uh, I'm going to play animals at level two, which might seem a bit. Yeah, weak, but it's, it's one animal. But it's one animal, and these are evil. These things. Um, I once swam around a corner and came face to face, literally nose to nose, with a giant triggerfish that was enormous. And they are more dangerous than sharks because sharks will usually ignore you, whereas triggerfish will just bite. And that one with its it was so big it would have taken a chunk the size of a uh, an apple out of my arm if I hadn't backed off in a hurry. So, um, sorry, digressing. You can see pictures of the fish. And, uh, um, right, uh, so the black bar trigger fish, I'm going to play that. It cost me 14. Slightly off camera there. Oh, sorry. Just pop it in. 14, no discount. No you discount. Are, you are required to have a university of sea creatures. I, oh, sea creatures. Yeah. That's why I that's why I bought that. Not just any oh, so no. I can't play that. I think that's but that means only one person can ever ever have that. Doesn't seem that unreasonable. It says really. so it, the condition is have any partner university, but I don't quite understand what a partner university is. I thought well, the partner university meant Ah, I'm gonna say oh, I'm gonna guess it's it like, could be that it could be that one. So I could play it, but if I had an ah, Africa... Well, we don't have a university for Africa. All universities are considered partner universities. Oh, right. Okay. There we go, then. It. So why did I buy that? Because you thought that it would have meant that... Yeah, yeah I, I thought I needed that one. It gives you a free... Okay, so they're all called partner universities. It's just that the rulebook is not very consistent in calling them partner universities. Right, okay. Have mm. any part so they're they are partner universities, right? Okay, I didn't realize that. I thought partner ones were for a specific because thing. the partner handshake ones with they're called partners because you get discounts, yeah. But but, but but when you get that as a prerequisite, it's got to be the, the right color, it, it does. So this is obviously different, yeah. Yeah, I didn't realize they were called partner yeah. universities, but apparently they are. Okay. There you go then. Paul Kelly is saying, where did you place your pavilion that you paid for? Um, bought a pavilion. Right, in the original rule book, under association action, you can see they are named partner unis. Wow. Okay, so I am going to play the black bar triggerfish. You pay, didn't you pay for a kiosk? I thought you paid... I paid for a kiosk, not a pavilion. But you didn't build it. Uh, you're right. Yeah. Thank you. I might have got distracted. And I can't build it there, because that's... Less than two away. Correct. Yeah. Right. So the fact that I can only put it up on this edge here, really, can I? Uh, thanks for reminding me. Uh, maybe this is better. No. Done? Yes. Okay. So my black bar trigger fish, um, when I play it, Paid for it. No discount. Paid for it. Part of the universities. Okay. I never knew that. Now I can choose the order in which the effect of this. I believe so, yeah. So the first thing that happens is each player ahead of me on a track, and that means both that track and this one. Oh, wow. Gains a constriction token oh. for each of those tracks. I said they were evil, didn't I? So I'm ahead of you on this track, yep. so I get a constriction token. Rob's ahead of you on, on both. both tracks. So he gets two. Get two. Wonderful. Get constricted. What? Where do they go? 
We need to look at the construction. So, place a construction token each on the first X action cards from the right. So you'll put it on the rightmost two. Animals. All oh, right, so I have to put on the separate ones. Yeah. Uh, the strength of an action card with a constriction token is decreased by two, and after you've used an action card with a constriction token, discard the token. Right. Okay. Well. Okay. okay. So, sorry about that. Absolutely. Um, so that was the reef. So that was the constriction action there. I then get the reef action, which is to draw a card within reputation, take a card within reputation range. Um, doesn't really matter. It's going to be. Or I can draw. I could draw one off the top of the deck. I'll draw I? one from the top of the deck. I'll take one from the top of the deck. Yeah. Um, but that's my re that's my reef action. Yeah. Then you get, then you get to do the other reef action. So, you so get three money. Um, so I get three money for that one. And you're going to kill this ostrich. Um, the shark is going to jump out of the water. Jump out of the water. Take the ostrich from mid gallop from Africa. Yeah. Get you another four. Yeah. That shark attack is it's just generating you appeal. End of turn? Well, people are flocking to see it. Not quite, because I uh, or was it a um is that everything? No, we do need to put a cube on your thing. Oh yes. We got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Only space for two more little fishes. You'll all breathe a sigh of relief when I do, I should think. So how many sea creatures icons have you got? Three. Hmm. Oh, this is not good. Okay, so... I am probably going to be associating with a power of four. And... I think we're going to have this Australian partner zoo and I'm gonna spend five to do a donation. I put a reef shark in the petting zoo. <laughs> I don't think it would last very long. Let's meet up. I'm gonna double upgrade my cards action and uh why? No I'm not uh, that's a lie. Um, I'm going to single. Uh, sorry, momentary confusion here. Oh, what do I do? Yes, bargain. Yeah, I'm going to um, single upgrade my association. So it's an association of three. Uh, I'm going to take the partner ship thing of something useful um which will be um <clears throat> um i was going to say birdland but that doesn't exist uh i'll take um europe please okay mm. that increases uh, flips over one of your cards yeah um so i'll flip over cards Sorry, that should be there. And then I can pay. Yeah, you've I can, removed it. I can do another association, but I'm not going to. Yeah, sorry, I jumped ahead there with the moving cards. A donation? Yeah, I'm, I'm not going it? to. Okay. Sorry, I meant to scrap a card and get three. Does anybody mind if I do that? Sorry. Right. Um... Apparently, the horse whisper is quite strong. Apparently. Horse Whisperer. Each time a petting zoo animal icon is played into any zoo, gain two money. But when mm. you play it, you search the discard pile for a petting zoo animal and take it into your hand. But it requires six reputation, which is quite a lot. Didn't realise Horse Whisperers were a thing. Mm. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, I see. Yeah, it's got its own petting zoo icon on it. So that means the first petting zoo animal you play actually gets you six rather than three Ooh. and then the second one gets you nine and the wow. third one will get you 12. wow that sure is good. Go. yeah ah. okay hmm interesting
Oh, my endgame's going counter. Ugh. I don't understand that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, build. What am I going to build? I must build a petting zoo just in case. Never know. Um, it's going to cost me six. Yeah. If I can find a petting zoo, it would be in here somewhere. There's only it? four of them. They're the size three ones that are at an angle. No, in here. No, in here. No, that's a size five. They're in here somewhere. There you go. Thank you very much. I'll put it there, which gives me an advancement there, and an X. That's my go. Okay, I'm going to animals with an X to make it animals five, which allows me to play two animals. And I'm going to play... I'm going to get poisoned or something now, aren't we? <clears throat> this one? Oh, no, he's not. One. For eight, because I have a no. partner zoo in Australia. And it comes into play and I get four appeal. Mm. And then uh, it's got posturing one. So I get to build a kiosk or a pavilion. I build a pavilion there. And then I trigger that, which gets me this back. Oh, that's good. And then as for my second one, I'm going to play... Oh, that needs a cube on there. And I'm going to play this one for nine is another cube there um, and this one allows me to trigger an X marker for five or vice versa sell one yeah sell it sell an X or buy an X don't even know if I want to do that well, that's got four appeal as well well um, Take it back and work out. I can place another kiosk or, or pavilion. Um, I mean, my, my cafe is now surrounded. So that's that's good. Uh, I'm just going to place another pavilion there for another one. Do I want to trade an X for five money? Because these X's can be quite useful. I think the answer is yes. So done that, done that, uh, and that's it. Right. So I think I'm done. Animals have been placed. Cubes have been placed on here. Okay. Got three sea creatures. Four. Ah, it gives me an icon. That's that's it. So I've got four sea creature icons. That's looking quite tasty now. Right. Right, Rob. Okay, right. So I'm going to play cards. So break two. Digging two. Digging two? Yeah. So it's two separate diggings. So I'll dig this away. To so draw you're going to get rid of that to draw a card. And I'll dig um, this away. And I can draw from here, can't I? Because I've got upgraded cards. So I can take this. Uh, I think so. I think that's what the icon's on it. Uh, there, yeah. Yeah. And... Um, then I'm going to have my draw action, which is level three, which is to draw two cards. How did you take that one? From the digging? No, digging is either discard a card to draw a card from here. Oh, from there, yeah. specifically. Okay. Or discard a card to... Okay, so I didn't... To I replace thought you could draw no. a card from there. No, no, no. Digging. Draw okay. a card. Sorry, discard one card from the display and replenish. Yeah. Right. So that's the digging done. All oh, right. Okay. You don't get to draw another one. Oh, okay. Yep. Sorry. And then I'm going to draw two cards, which now can be from from within reputation range. I I'll think. take these two. Oh, 
Uh, yeah, I'll take these two. Yes. Um, yeah, well, as long as there's no like rules, queries. Come on. Yeah, so what, what power was your cards? It was just draw two cards. Yeah. Which could have come from within reputation range. Which they did. Which yeah. they did. Yeah. Okay. And then your cards goes to one and you're done. Yeah. Oh, that's these construction tokens are getting me down. Mm. Stephen has just said that June Imperium is coming out on Steam on November 14th. Interesting. Really? Doing a digital version of it. Mm. With the expansions. I, I doubt it initially. Mm. I assume just a basic okay. association at level four. Um, yep. Where do you want to go? There. I'm going to take um, this one. Mm -hmm. No, this one. You've already got that one. Oh, I've already got that one. I'm not going to take that one. I'm going to take this one. Does that one give me one? reputation one? And hand limit five, but it has to be to flip a card. I'll flip the um, build card, I think. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to. I shouldn't have spent. I shouldn't have bought that break token because <laughs> now I want to associate three. So I'm going to, I'm going to build, and I'm going to spend eight to build four lots of stuff. Now, interesting, what am I going to build? Let's build a normal size three enclosure and another pavilion. So size three enclosure is going to be there. Have you got a discount or something? No, I get to build for one extra. So it's counted as if it was four. Okay, you've got seven money. I spent eight. Oh, I see. Yeah. And I'll just stick a pavilion over here. Hey, we're all on the same appeal. Is that way, didn't it? And then that goes to there. And then because I covered over that, I get to move that okay. to there. That rubbishy constricted thing. <clears throat> I wanted that there. That's what I wanted. Right, done. Right, I forgot what I was going to do now. Sorry. Um... Was that wasn't it? So oh construction. Oh no, it was that. Right. Okay, so I'm gonna pay zero to zero X's to do an animal's level three. Yeah, which is one animal. And the construction yeah. token will go. Yeah. Well I'll do that in a sec. Um and the animal will be today's animal will be um A greater flamingo uh, at minus three cost. So that is 13. And flamingos have cost really. Seven yes. appeal. Yes. So I get a free kiosk. Or pavilion. Or pavilion. Yep. Basically, I'm a kiosk man, but in you fact, are. I can't if place it again. You can place one. <laughs> so I should have put that there, really, but it's too late for that. Um, so I think it has to be a pavilion, really, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, what do pavilions do? Give you one appeal. Is that all? 
And if you put it next to a kiosk, it'll Oh, so I can cover up that. You can cover that over. Yeah. Right, that's probably a good use of it, isn't it? Yeah, so I'll do that. It's not so bad. And now I have a proud owner of a greater flamingo. Um, and that goes, and this goes to zero. And now it needs to be in a size three enclosure next to water. Which it, which it was. Get slowly getting hang of these placement rules. I'm going to do cards at level um, level four, draw three, <clears throat> and discard one. And break two. Yeah, discard one, and then burn one for three money. That's my go. Okay, I'm associating, and I can go up to four. Oh look, okay. No, I can't. I'm gonna go here. We're gonna buy a partner zoo for the Americas. I'm gonna put it on there. That gets me to flip a card. This is my final card flip. Um and it's going to be it's gonna be the animals action. Right. Uh, and then I'm gonna make a donation for this seven. Which is there, which means I get one of those three. So this is a new one. This is draw three final end game scoring cards and then discard three. Oh, that is good. Now, it's good, but I'm happy with this one. So that is actually of no use whatsoever. Um, so I'm just going to take that and I'm going to have another one. And I'm going to take, I don't know, doesn't matter. I'll just take uh, I'll just take Asia and put it there, Asia. which gets me an association worker. Yeah. So what can I do if I don't upgrade my cards action? I can't go beyond here. That's it. Okay. Done. Done. So I'm going to do sponsors. I'm going to pay my construction tax. So it's one five, down to three because of the construction. Yeah. Back construction. To yep. And back to four. Yep. Yeah. So I've done that. So sponsors for four. Um, yep, which is science museum. Yep, um, requires four science things. Which I have one, two, three, four. Nice. And it generates uh, two money immediately. Immediately ten money. Nice. Um, and and then subsequently, whenever I play a research icon, I gain a yep reputation, which you just did. Uh, conservation point. Conservation point. Nice. Um, and that's that. And this goes. Yep. It goes. Ooh. Up you go, Pete. Mm -hmm. Let's just do it. Sponsors at level six. Yep. Gets me six money. And break six. Which triggers the break. So I get the next back. Yep. Well, I get an extra three because of my special sponsor. Because you gain from it. Yeah. yeah. So I trigger okay. the break. Okay, we're doing break. Right, discard down to hand size. I already... Um, below. Nasty tokens go. After all that effort I spent getting rid of them. Yeah, I waited until you'd had this up before. <laughs> These come back. And we're going to replenish lots of the. What it is. He's got a lot of partners here, so I'd like to talk about it. And. Some universities. Okay, so we've done that. Cards go. Not a wave. And it's not a wave. And then income. Right, so I get 19, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. 
33, 34. Wow. I'm really that one through. Hey. Done mine. And Rob, yours is 21. One, two, three, four, five, six, 27. Plus anything else? No, 27. I'm going to make your things eight. Yeah. Oh, because that counts. Yeah. 29 then. So 29. Okay. Yep. Sounds good. Right, can I go? Well, I need cards in hand. I haven't got any. <clears throat> but I have these sponsors and I can now play from within reputation range. So I could play this. Is this any good for me? Uh, need more fishies. Fishy seems to have uh, right and and herbivores. Has somebody taken the herbivores out of this deck? <laughs> so we're just ignoring them because we know that you're all in there. Well, the, the, the... <laughs> the big deck. Yeah, they're not very exciting either. Well, they are if you're a shark. <laughs> they lunch. Um. Yeah, there is there is nothing here which is exciting in any way at all. So I think it might be a crazy thing to do, but I am gonna sponsors and I'm gonna break five to get 10 money and discard a card for another four money. Craziness. You're right, that is a crazy thing to so do. I just, just get 14 money. Utter madness. He's gone mad. Because we knew it was going to happen. I, I, can't, I, I can't think of anything else to do other than play that. And that, I'm not really interested in that. So I'm sure I'll need that money at some point. Right. That's me done. Uh, uh, yeah, we're all on three fish icons, but Rob can't get any more. Actually, I'm on four, but yeah, I'm going for the top spot because mm -hmm. I've got this university. Mm -hmm. and I, I'm on the lookout for fishes. Well, that being the case, I think I better, and because I'm just below the next uh -huh. way, waypoint or whatever you want to call it, um, I might accelerate my association to level five. Yep. And to do a conservation project. Yes, which will be that. Right. Because I can't ever get more than three. Yeah, so pick one of those. Two. Yeah. Um, Take one of these. Yeah, you either get five money or you have that token. Yeah. Um, sorry, I need to think. Uh, this is income of so the, the purple, the ones at the top, you will get that yeah. bonus immediately, yeah. And every income phase, if you take one of the bottom three, you'll just get it once. These are different, aren't they? Depending on the board, yes, right? Okay, um, sorry, do you want to know what they, the, the pouch so does? Tap two size enclosure, five money, yeah, or pouch two. I, I, Pouch two is basically took cards underneath it, and every card you took is worth some appeal. Yeah. You may place up to X cards from your hand below this card, gain two appeal for every card placed. Yeah. I'm gonna go. So I don't this. know where you put those cards. <laughs> I guess under the play board. I'm gonna go for this. Yep. Oh, that pushed me up two, and I yep. take the uh, one that is special tile. Yeah. I remember what it does now, but so sorry. once in the game when you're doing this, yeah. you can flip that over to have an extra icon. Which is All right. Good. An extra icon. Oh, so I, I, that if I I can actually place it there if if I had this beforehand. Yes. Um, no, you didn't. Can I do Did it? You? No. No. You can do it next. Because you have to do that right. to go up here to get. That. Okay, so that's only going to benefit me if I something next else. One. Yeah. Turns up that's useful. Which okay. So I should, what I should have done. You should keep it face up in front of you for now. What I should do then is get that reputation point another way. The conservation point. Conservation yeah. If point. you could. But I don't think I can. 
easily playing a donation. I was one behind, wasn't I? <clears throat> so if I do this, you can do this in any order. What, the donation? You can you do the donation before the... Uh, That's a good question. I don't know. Because then I'll just donate and get the, this thing beforehand and then mm. do that. So, association action improved. Uh, in addition, you are allowed to make exactly one donation, pay the smallest amount of money visible. Yada, 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 yada. To make a donation, you must have performed at least one association task during the same action. All oh, right, so I can't. You do not need an association worker to make a donation, but it looks like you have to have done the task All right. before you do the donation. So I'm going to do the donate. I'm going to do a different task. People on the chat are saying you can donate first. Oh, are they? Right, okay. Are they? Yeah, Scott saying it, Rasmus is saying it. Okay. okay, so... Well, if that's what the chat's saying... So I need to pay seven, is it? You need to pay seven money for a donation. And I go up next to one on the... Um... So you go to there. Yeah. You then get that token. Yeah. And then I play... And then you go here and you do that and you flip that token and you go on there, which yeah. is four, yeah. which is one, two, three, four. Right. And that goes... Yeah, just get rid of it. Flip. You use it. So you now can either take five money, or right. you're going to have this... Uh, sorry, you're going to have to remind me what that Draw is. three final scoring cards, Okay. and then discard three. Um, I'm not going to do that, because you only get to keep one final scoring card. Okay, Lars is saying you cannot donate first. Okay. Okay, hang on a minute, hang on. Yeah, I didn't I didn't think it was allowed. Right. Because it does, it does okay. use that... Well, oh, well, and you can't on BGA. Okay, so... So I'll, 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 do, I'll, this, I'll do this, I'll play my own thing. Okay, yeah. I'll go here and get... So I've got five science icons. Right. So you've still got that token. Uh, yes. That is, that is still yours then. Yeah. So where have we moved you? No, you go space up because you haven't used it. Um, so, okay. Yeah. yeah. He's in the well, right place. You, I'm in the right place still. Or... Yeah. Right. And I'm so going to take the four. One took you to there. Yeah. And then how many have you just got? Four. Four. Right. I'm going to take five money. Okay. Got it. So. Uh, oh, and that goes there. Right. Yeah, sorry. And pushes it yeah. over. You can tell I'm not... So, so science icons. Ah, so I gain uh, I gain one extra one because I played the research icon. Yeah, that's, that's no. not okay. you playing it, okay. I think. Okay. How many science icons have I got? Two. Is that anything? It is. It is. Okay, I'm going to do association yeah. at level three. And I'm going to take the Americas... Yeah, and I'm going to upgrade um, animals. And that's my go. Well, that, does that change things? I don't know if it changes things. I mean, I've got no cards in hand, so I'm a little limited on what I can do. But... I was thinking I could do that. Hmm. Definitely need more cards, but not got any X tokens. So I can't do that at three. Otherwise I could have got that. So I could build. Let's build. So I'm going to spend 10 money. I can build X plus one. And what are we going to build? Yeah, it's weird not having any cards in hand. Yeah. I don't know what I'm building for. Do we just build... I mean, we just build a, a massive... What's this? Lizard? Rep reptile reptile house. house thing? I mean, I mean, there are some reptiles on here, but... You, you can just about still place it. I can place it there. Yeah. And it's a reptile house next to mountains and next to... next to a lake. But... Nobody wants reptiles. So we could go another three and then a pavilion and then a one. Sure, let's do that. 
Yeah, Steve is saying that if you'd had enough X tokens, you could have done a, a, a level two action. Then you could have done the uh, um, bonus action. Then you could have done the because you need to have done one action before you do the uh, purchase right. the. Yeah, so that's going to go there. I didn't have enough X, I suppose. Right. That's going to go there, which gets me one appeal and the next token. And then that's going to go there. Uh, that way up. But all of these enclosures and all I've got is a cheater. <laughs> that's walking around smelling bird from the one that was there before. Um, that's <laughs> me done. I still don't have any cards in hand. But it's quite a satisfactory meal for cheetahs, probably. No, maybe not. Here we go. Let's Rob's go. I'm going to cards. I'm going to dig this to draw a card. Yep. Yeah. And I get to see it before I choose the second digging thing. Yep. Yeah. Um, it's break two, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to dig it, the card that I just drew. Yep. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Um, okay, and then I've got uh, level four, which is draw three and discard one. Mm -hmm. And you can draw that? from yeah. here if you want to. So this looks interesting. I can't read it from here, but there's just going to be three income. Three, uh, yeah, so three money when you play it. Three income every income phase. It's got science. a science icon on it. Yeah. And at the end of the game, if your reputation is nine or higher, you get a conservation point. Seems reasonable. So that's one. Mm -hmm. Um. I don't know. Uh, Red forgot to place his two enclosure. Apparently. You... Oh yeah, the, you you got a bonus. You really you you removed that, but you didn't actually place it. Oh, uh, sorry. I'll do that. Uh... Yeah. I wanted to cover this. Thanks. Um, thanks. Um, so I've got two more draws, um, and all of them are involve reptile houses. Oh, is it for uh, those? Right. So I'm going to just draw from the deck. Yeah. So you get two. Yeah. And then out of all of your cards, you discard one. Okay. Um, I'm going to discard this because I can never play it. So. It's a shame I can, can't play the penguin. African penguin? Yeah. Be awesome. Right, you all done? Yes. Build at level four. It's a conference on Australia. So these are all new. There's a conference for every continent in the new set of cards. Don't quite know what they do. And yes, you can play animals from the display now that you've upgraded the action card. Yes. But, ooh. Actually, yes, thank you for that. I had forgotten. <laughs> I can't play that. I can't play that. I can play that. Oh, and it's America's. <laughs> yeah, that's good. The build at level four. Order three. Cost of eight. Yeah. Mm, interesting. That there. Which means I can take. Oh. <laughs> was it a herbivore? No. It, it wasn't. It was oh. a, an animal that could have gone in there. Oh. It was really good for me because it's got an America icon on it. Oh. It's, it's a cougar, Rob. Um, right. They're definitely not herbivores. <laughs> yeah, times two. Thank you. Thank you. You're done with your buildings. Finished building, yeah. That goes there. Uh, 
Okay, right, so what's come out? That, do I have two science icons? I do. And it's America. Sorry, I want to burn a card. So I could build this. Burn a card for three. Got a reptile house. No, but size two or uh, or one in a reptile house. Oh right. Oh, that's all right. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think we might do that. So animals, I can play two animals, and I can play from within reputation range. Oh. Um. So I'll, I'll play this one. Oh, um, and I get a discount of three, so it costs me thirteen. Two, three. Have the two science icons, so I am allowed, I am allowed to play it, and I get a seven appeal, and it's got. Oh, before I do the seven appeal, it's got constriction. We do love a bit of constriction. What doesn't? There you go, Rob. I've already got the constriction mark. Okay. Uh, is it your chip? It's you twice. Yeah, I've already done it. Cause you're ahead of me on that. Love some constriction. His uh, catch up mechanisms are quite irritating. You started it. <laughs> you poisoned us. Yeah, I'd rather I hadn't. Um, so that's my first animal placed. Attempt at leisure. My second animal. Oh, and I've got to flip over a size two enclosure next to a mountain. Nope, just a size two enclosure. So we'll flip over this one. All right. Actually, you no, know, we'll flip over that one because that's better for the kiosk. Right, then I could play this. So why not? I don't get a discount. But that's going to go there. It needs a size one enclosure. There you go. I get three appeal. And I can sell up to two cards from hand. And because I played animals on level five, I gain a reputation. Right, that is. You done? Oh, well, you're done. So that shouldn't be there. Still have no cards. I did put my. Okay, well, I'm going to do. It's Rob's my go. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm going to play this one. Doing this all day. At level three. Yep. I'm going to build a pavilion and a. And a I need to pay kiosk. four more for playing in the book. Ah, yes, thank you. The rules about mm. playing cards from the board. Completely forgot about that. Um. It's printed here, isn't it? Yeah, so I, it was that one and that one, so I need to pay another four. I always forget that rule. So if I spend eight money, I can build, build a pavilion a kiosk in a size two thing. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to put basically uh, a kiosk here. So your action is power three. Pavilion here, three. power three. Oh, so I need to. Would need to upgrade. But then one. you can pay two to do a kiosk. Yeah. So yeah. So it's fine. Yeah. Uh, but it's gonna have a level two uh, space thing, please. Thank you. And I need to spend eight. No, six. Eight. No, because oh yeah, eight. Yeah. All right. Um, that's that then. Okay, cards twice at level two. Sorry, level four, which means I draw three and discard one and then do it again. Break two, is it? Yeah. And then another break two. Yeah. Mm. Uh, kiosk is too close to the other one, apparently. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, that one. Oh, that, that one. one. Right, so that can go there, though. No, too close uh, to the other one. But if I put that there. Oh, that was already there, that wasn't was already it? There. Put it down at the bottom. Yeah. I can put it there. Okay, so I gain actually two. Two educations because of that one as well. Have you already gained one? No. Oh, okay. So I get my worker. extra worker. Um, thanks. Sorry. Thanks for keeping tabs on what I'm doing because <laughs> it seems to be not a lot going on. familiar enough for this game to uh, remember everything or know everything. <laughs> Okay, 
that's my go. I am going to now. The cards is now on the five. It's the best it can ever be. May you cause a break. Which is fine. Because I'm probably getting more money than anybody else. But if I do association, I'm going to do association. And I can do association for four, but actually, I think I want this. And we're going to take this one. Let me pop it there, which gets me two of these. Right, so everybody has to choose one of their final scoring cards and get rid of it. Mm. Oh. And then I'm going to spend 10. It's fortunately a no brainer. To make another donation to get another one. Right. Okay. Yep. Um, yeah. So I'm going to do a sponsors level four. Sponsors for four. And it's going to be a breeding program. Oh, this is the one that comes with two tokens. Two tokens. And uh, I'll, I'll use penguins, if that's right. Yeah. And uh, when supporting a base conservation product project, you may discard exactly one token as any icon. Same as that. Um, and at the end of the game, gain one of those association things for conservation points for five supports of conservation projects. Okay, that sounds quite. Yeah, difficult. we've not been doing very much of this, but I think it's going to happen. Yeah, soonish. All right, uh, some more cards. That's my turn. Okay, animals at level five, so I get to advance that twice. Uh, no, it's, it's two animals and one of those. Oh, one of those. One yeah. of those gets you a worker. And two, yeah, animals, two animals, which you can play from the board if you pay for it. Up to here. Yeah. Red panda standing by. Um, I'm going to place the, play the cougar. We get three discount. Three discount. So me seven. Seven. Need a size three enclosure next to the mountains. Guess you... oh. So I guess you five appeal. Advance the break token. Three spaces. Gain three. Okay. It's going to cause a break. And five. You done appeal. that. You done that. Second animal. It's going to be a Scarlet Macaw, 13. <laughs> you have to have a partner zoo in America, which you do. And you gain see. four appeal. And, and I get to place three. Three, possibly in stroke, yeah. So... Just do that. And you flip a size one enclosure. There you go. Which will be that one. So let's put that there. Yeah. Can you another one? And gaining one appeal. And that there. Getting another appeal. And then that there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice. Uh, which is all of my animalizing yeah. done. So that goes to the bottom. Right at the end. And then we do a break. So this guy down to hand size. Oh, um, not an issue. So we'll trash that and get the money. Okay, remove nasty tokens. And also the times two tokens, if you had one. We replenish this. Workers back. 
Hmm. Goes in there. Uh, we get rid of these two. Right, we have a wave. Okay, done that. And then income. So I get 22. I played a predator. I should have drawn one, two, three, oh, four cards and chosen and kept an animal. Sorry. There you go. So 22, 27. None of them are animals. Oh, wow. Somehow I've lost that. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, mm. 35, 36, 37, 38. 38. Um, there's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. It was eight like last time and I hadn't played that. Uh, oh, this isn't doing anything, is it? That's not doing anything. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's 20. Eight plus 21. 29. 29. Plus. One of those. Oh, yeah, thank you. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to regret taking this on. <laughs> you don't have to place it. Uh, uh, might as well. And that gives me one of those. Just take a card from within rep range or within. Uh, yeah, take a card from within reputation range. Right. Oh. I can't play any more sea animals, so that's really too much good for me. It does give you a sea animal icon. Right. Um, yeah, that's. But you can argument. you can now get the five. Yes, thanks for pointing that out. Um, I oh, I'll just take this. I think. Okay. Oh no, that requires animals level two. Sorry. Good. Yeah, it's a good one. Um, that requires. As, does, as does that. So, as does that. As so does the that. only things that are going to be playable by me are those two things. Uh, and I haven't got a size three enclosure for that. So this is a size two. It's Australia, um, if you bothered about that. Oh, I don't currently have Australia. So I need I'd need I'd need that, wouldn't I? Oh so you mean you need Australia to play it, yeah. Yeah. And it doesn't really do much for me. So uh, red kiosks are worth one more income. Because you've covered all of your symbols. Oh uh, yeah. So you get five so, more money. Five more money, yep. So thirty four, not twenty nine. So I need more money over here. Uh, thanks. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, can you give me a twenty? Yes. Yeah. Thanks. Um, um, and I'll, I'll take from the deck. Okay. Yeah. Right. So you all done? Yeah. That goes to there. So it's my go. So I don't have five C animals. You don't have five, but you could get to five. How many have you got, Pete? Three. So I want to try and... Well, the thing is, I've already got four. But my association is down here, so I'm not going to be doing it anytime soon. So I think I'm going to be doing the cards action. Great two. I'm going to draw three, and I can't. I can't take from here, so it's just draw three. Discard one, and that's my go done. Or I could have snapped one, but I don't want to snap one. The cards. Oh my god! <laughs> what the heck? <clears throat> All right, my go. Ah. Huh? <laughs> it's, a, it's an underwater tunnel. All right, the thing that I it, should have had. It's a special. Okay. It's a special size two. Right. Sponsorship building that counts that can accommodate fishes. Right. Cool. So that's what what I would have needed. 
Mm. No, I hadn't. Like, that that uh, would have... If we hadn't cheated. Uh, so I'll do the animals. These are rubbish. I can play two, play two animals, which um, what the heck? I will do. So first animal is uh, I pay nine for it. Um, and it's a shoe bill. And so I put a cube. Sorry, I need to put a cube in my bird enclosure, but I don't have any cubes. Um, uh, can someone give me a cube? Thank you. All right, thanks. Thank you. And uh, that goes in there. And can someone put me a three on the uh, appeal? Three appeal. And one on the... Oh, I can do that. Right. Um, so we're all on the same appeal again. 37. Yeah. It's all part of the plan. And my other animal. Uh, apparently, it also has a science icon. The thing that you ah just... does, does it? It requires science. No, maybe something you did earlier. Uh, yeah, Paul says it also has a science icon for another conservation point. The 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 ship sponsor card that you played. The ship. What ship sponsor card? I don't know. Yeah. Is that the one that gives bonuses for other people's kiosks? Because I kind of took that back. You my... took it back, okay. But now I seem to have lost it, and I can't imagine I would have thrown it away, so I don't understand where it went, really, but I might have discarded it's it back. a card in the display. Oh, this one. This oh, ship one. Yeah, it's got right. a science icon on it, so if you played that one, yeah, it would actually be okay for you. But Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Um, no, I forgot where I was. My other, my other animal is going to be... Uh, you're doing two animals, are you? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, is it a red panda? Okay. Which is at minus three cost. You need two sciences, which you've got. So that costs minus me... three because of a partners are in Asia. Yeah. So you pay thirteen, and you need a size two enclosure. Which I have many, many of. Um, and it's how much appeal? Uh, it is six. And I need to flip over a thing, which probably the best one is this one, I think. Maybe. I don't think it makes a lot of difference. And the other thing is that uh, it's a herbivore. Oh, it's a herbivore, is it? Um, sadly. I get some money. Yeah. Hey. I, I didn't want to play it, but... Because uh, <laughs> um, I'm an expert, I can tell you it's a panda. Indeed. It's a, uh, it's a red panda from Asia. It doesn't eat meat. Uh, could, I, could I have a times two, please? Goes on my... uh, there you go. Thank you. It goes on my sponsors. Okay. And, and then it's also got this icon, which means I can push one to, to one. Is that right? Uh, no, that's just saying it goes on the sponsor's action card. Right. Okay. Yeah. Right. So that's just the icon for a card. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think that's it then. Okay. Sponsors at level five, but I'm only playing a level four. It's a marine biologist. So each time a sea animal icon is played into any zoo, I get three money. This is a sea animal icon, so I get three money. And that is another icon. It is. So I get three money. So how many sea animal icons have you going to got? Four. I got four. Oh, it's painful. It's a race. Well, it is. The problem is my association action is all the way down here on two. Mm. And you've only and got, got one, one break token. Uh, I've got one X, so I can't get it to mm. five. So you two are going to grab up the... Oh, dear. Well, that hasn't worked out, has it? Just the way the cookie crumbles. It is. So let's do something different. I mean, this is still pretty good. I do like this. This is a cool card. So yeah, let's um, let sponsors. Oh, we've won all more sponsor cards with a total value of six. Okay, yeah, I'm just playing this. So this is the underwater tunnel. Right. So it has to be placed on two water spaces. Um, yeah, 
Okay. I mean, this wasn't planned because I didn't even know this existed. But mm. it goes there, and it, mm. at the end of the game, it, it is connecting mm. my two aquariums. I'm going to get five appeal. So I get nice. two now. I'll get five more at the end of the game. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, and I can discard a card to get four money. I don't know whether this is of any use whatsoever. So I'm going to discard it for four money. And that's, yeah, because I could play from within sponsor range, but that's not within sponsor range. So, uh, reputation range. Mm. So that goes there, that goes there, that's me done. Yeah, well, um, you've guessed it. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Go on, Rob. You're going to associate for five, you'll associate and get the four. Yeah. So I use one of my penguins plus this. Yeah. To get five. To get five. Um. I'll think about this in a second. Can you put me up uh, five? Five, I'm here. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to need to pick one of these. Um, you do. So, well, yeah. And did you want to make a donation? Um, no, thanks. Okay. Well, Pete, do you want to do... Cost... If you're yeah. doing the same... Yeah. I'm doing association. But you're getting the four. At level... Oh, I'm putting that one... I'm putting that one there, um, and yeah. I'm going to put that yeah. one yeah. there to get four, and I'm yeah. going to flip so... the association. Yep. Yeah. Goes down there. Yep. Yeah. That's my go. Uh, you get to snap. Oh, I get to snap now, don't mm -hmm. I? That's the uh, one you wanted. Right. Which one did you snap. take? Snap. Ah, Rob gets to snap first, and, oh, then you, right. and then you get to snap. Okay. So this is only good for the science now for me, isn't it? Um, can I snap from the deck? No. No. Uh, oh God. That's, that's not even a bird. I can't put it as a bird. The aviary. I can put that in the aviary, can I? You well, I can't make can. it. I can't build it. But it has the aviary has to be next to a bear mountain. I wish it is. But, okay. But I, I, can't, I haven't got no. graded animals. I never will have it. So... Uh, um, that requires a level three enclosure that no other thing will do. Correct. Yeah. Well, I possibly could build that. And then it slides down. It slides down. And then I get to snap. And you get snap. Yep. Sun bear. Interesting. Snap that. Um, I won't trash a card. Three money. At least primates into the wild. Have I got any primates? No. <laughs> well, yes. Uh, if everything was looking good, but then. Alas, snapped all the good ones. I mean, that's amazing. But I don't have a size 5 enclosure that's next to two water. If I did, that would be very, very good. Right, I now can't get a size five enclosure in here. To all these big animals that have now come out. <sighs> right. Hmm. Well. Can I fit that in? Where's the that go in? No. Okay. That's play a sponsor card and spend the money. Which I haven't got any sponsor cards. 
Need more cards. Started off the game with so many cards and losing them. Now need more. So I think I'm just going to build. And I'm going to build for six. So I spend 12. And... I don't know. <laughs> build a three here. And let's build... Build the pavilion and let's build for two. So I build a pavilion, which is that. It's me done. Build at level five, spending ten money. And I build a size five building. So small. I'd, I'd have loved to have done that, but gone with lots of small ones instead. And the fishes seem to have all disappeared again. They have, haven't they? They've yeah. been dried up. Mm. Right. <clears throat> size five building cost me ten. It's my turn. Ponds. The ponds are dried up. Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, you shouldn't have gone. It should have been Rob. But it's fine because you've not done. Anything okay. that would have changed what Rob did. Yep. Uh, cards. Sorry, this shouldn't be here. I'm going to do cards. Or it should be now. But uh, so digging two. I'm going to. I'm going to dig away the penguin ball because I have oh. space for it. It's really sad. I know. I wanted to build it. But... Yeah, a replacement. Yep. Uh, from the deck. Yeah. And. Uh, mm. No. Um. Okay. Dig away stuff on the board. Um, it's all those upgrade animal requirements are being annoying. Yeah. But it's more annoying because I've got all of those requirements. I just yeah. don't have the size, don't have the enclosures. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna dig away that. Then I'm gonna draw four cards and discard one. Oh, break two as well. Done the break two. Okay. So I'm going to draw this, my first draw. Yeah. Um, and three more. Three more. Oh, that's interesting. It's a herbivore, though. Uh, let's go. I can't I can't take it off no. because it's too high. Nobody can. So I'll take three more from the deck and then discard one. Okay. One, two, three. Oh. And then you've already had your go. Yeah. So now it's me. So if my cards was advanced, I could snap that. So what are we going to do? Well, I don't think I can play this because it's got a, an associated with an X. It to have that partnership, doesn't it? Sorry, so I'm associating for five. I'll go here. And I'm going to take the one that gives me three X tokens. And let's go here. And I'm going to pay 10 to make a donation. Wow. Okay. All right. Uh, and well, then drop. Well, I'll sort of build. I don't think there's any legal spaces for me to build any more kiosks. <laughs> no, there isn't. Unfortunately. Uh, so I'm going to build a three building here. And uh, I'll, I'll, I should start trying to fill in the gap. So I build two pavilions as well. Can't build the same thing oh. twice. All right. So I build one be, pavilion. Be different buildings. One pavilion. Uh, one note about the digging action. Unlike normal, you actually replace the display immediately. Yes. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, that sponsor card that made the size three enclosures near the edge size five. That would have been good. Where did that go? <laughs> In the bin. Yeah. Could I have please a three size building? Get them online. I'm not using them. I'm gonna spend eight to uh, do that. So I've got twenty and take twelve back. Plus the pavilion. Um, pavilions don't do anything, do they? They give you one appeal. Oh, one appeal. Okay. Yeah. And then this allows me to take from the take one card from within reputation range. Yeah, or not the all the all the top of the deck, all the top of the deck. Yeah, because there's not much there that I can use, so I'm going to take from the top of the deck. Mm -hmm. I wanted that one, but it requires double water. Yeah, I've only got one. Yeah, I didn't spot that when I was building Done. that five building. Very thirsty. These dugongs. I'll go with cards at level five. Draw Green two. Four, red two. Draw one, two, three, four. You could take from within range if you wanted. Well, if there was any of those that you wanted. Yeah. I, I... <clears throat> Got your primates. Golden eagle is possible. No, golden eagle is a possibility. Yeah, you, you could build that. I can build it. That was the one I keep saying. Oh, I can't. But so that one is size five, and I can build it. Only for for mates, one additional action. Mm. That's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So I think I'll do that. So you take that one and three others. I'll take that one and three others. And then discard one. And then discard a card. And then I'll burn a card with money. It's not a wave. It's a me cut then. Oh. Oh. That's my discard. It's actually really good for me. It's too far away. <laughs> it's a bit more related. It is. It's a den of meerkats. Burning that to get three nights. Is it going to be the herbivores or on the same? It, it, would, the it would fit around there. Yeah. It would be awesome. Can't believe this. I mean, I could snap it. So let's let's just have a look at it. So if I played it. I would get two appeal. I would also get three money. It would go there. And at the end of the game, if I had six herbivores, I'd get a conservation point. That would be two. I would, I would still need more of them to come up. Like this one. Uh, it requires three reputation, which I've got. So... Hmm. Yeah, interesting. How close are we to a break? No, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna cards. I'm gonna plus one it. So it's break two, and I'm gonna draw three cards. And I don't want any of these. So I'm just going to go one, two, three, and then I have to discard one. Oh, God. Okay, that's me done. All right. So I'm going to cards. Dig two first, and then so I'll get rid of this. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll get rid of this one from hand. hand. Yeah, draw a card. Come on. Um, and then another dig. I'll get rid of. Yeah, I'll get rid of this. I'll draw another card. Well, we're getting through this deck. Yeah. And then I get uh, break two. And then draw two, discard one. <clears throat> Which can be from within reputation range yeah. if you want. Yeah. I just wonder if this will actually do anything. It's got one science icon, that's all it's going to do. It's got a science icon on it. 
Expedition, you may send a person sponsor card in your zoo away to gain one. Person sponsor card. So one of these. That's a person. Is that right? Yeah, I think so. To gain one or scuba dive three. Reveal the topmost card. And stuff. Is that not really? Um, I'm just going to take two from the deck. Mm -hmm. Discard one. Come on. Well, that's useless because it's max 25. Yeah. Can't play the farm cat anymore. No. Okay, and your cards goes in position one. Pete, you're going. Animals at level five. Two animals and a reputation. Yeah. Are you allowed to go here? Uh, I'm yellow. Okay. Well, I am allowed. You to are, go. yeah, when be. you get there. Yeah. Um, so. Hmm. I'm going to play the golden eagle. Cost me 20. So I've got no discount. This is a big one. Goes in the five enclosure. After finishing the current action, perform an additional action. But I'm also going to play the uh, Tambaki, which is a fishy McFish. Goes in here uh, at a cost of 15. It's a herbivore. Yeah. Is it a flocking herbivore? A fish herbivore. Yep. Um, Didn't know. Oh, I get a discount. A free. You do, yeah. Because I've got the Americas. I didn't realise fish have that kind of designation as well as Some mam of them. mammals. So you gave me my five as well, did you? Yeah. Uh, five for that. I got seven Don't for think here. I did. Five for this one. Um, and then I'll just check away that one. And then I get an extra action. Yeah. Which is going to be... But after that, it's gone back to one. So after this has gone back to one, you get to basically take another turn, which is very good. Mm. It's going to be um, association, uh, which I'm going to bump up to level five. Are you going here? I'm going there with two. two phase two. Six two. And. Australia's if I got one, two, three, I've got one, two, three, four, I've got four Americas. No, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So, so America's at level five. five. Oh. So you've passed that, which is five money. Yeah. And that, which is either five money or draw three final scoring cards and discard three. No, I'll take five yeah. money because the one I picked up I like. So if you were screwed up by the draw, then then you can get out of it. I guess. By yeah. Not get by money. Yeah. And that's is that. That's, that's it. That's what it. Yeah. And you've just unlocked that. Yeah. So you get a size two enclosure. It gets me another five money. No, it doesn't, because I don't want to use that one. I'm going to go here. And that's my go. Wow. Right. I should have been planning. But I've drawn a bunch of rubbish. Bunch of rubbish. Absolute bunch of nonsense. So I think my only option is to association for two to go here. Mm. Another dude. And donate for 12. You've earned. Well, it's all I can do. Big points in the end, in that suppose. Well, it's that. Yeah. That's, all, that's all it is. Yeah. So I'm still behind. Right. Um, you done? Yeah. I'm going to sponsors. So does this stay on five for the second? I believe so. Iteration. Yeah. Uh, I think well, that's what the times twos do. I've only got one sponsor card anyway. Okay. Uh, and it gets me three money straight off the bat, I think. And as, as a science icon. So that generates more money. Yeah, twice in a row with the same strength before placing it. In slot one. So, uh, yeah, I gain one, one reputation, or sorry, one association, and I gain three money. What are you gaining the conservation point for? Um, for this, every time I play a research icon in my zoo, I gain one association um, thing. Conservation point. A conservation point. Yeah. This. Or... Yeah. Yeah. One, 
and then I uh, gained three money straight yeah. off the bat. Um, okay. And an income of three as well. Um, and then the second sponsors will be Break X Gain X. So that causes yeah. a break. And I gained five more money. Five money? I don't know what I need all this money for, but. Um, and you get an X token for causing the break. Oh, thank you. It's always good. Your turn done? Yeah. Right. Discard down. <laughs> uh, you're discarding down to five yeah i can get rid of those Use those special tokens get rid of this replenish everybody comes home nothing to replenish these cards go that's right that's two four i do want the bunnies right and uh, not a wave releasing reptiles into the into the wild who's got some re reptiles that does have a wave on it. Oh, you're Professor Reptile. Have I got a reptile? Oh, I do. There goes my plan. Reveal some, re release them into the wild. Ooh, coastal manta ray. Right, and now income. I'll build another so, big aquarium. That's so annoying. Timing. I don't like those waves. Well, <laughs> I'm just being biased because it's hurt me. <laughs> yeah, 41 minutes. Mm -hmm. Um, well, it's 41 money, assuming my underwater tunnel counts as a building for the kiosk. If anybody knows that. Hi, Brendan. And hi, Il Meeple Con La Camica. Yeah, there you go. Thank you for watching. And yes, does anybody know if the underwater tunnel counts as a unique building for my kiosks? If not, I'll lose two money. And you two Thank both you. get your snappage abilities and your yes. size twos. So I get 11 more than... So who, who goes to 35? 35. Um, I think the player who caused the break. Okay. Um, so who was that? That was me. Rob. So you snap first. So Rob snaps first. first. I'm just a bit... Yeah. This could be bad. The meerkat den could disappear. Is it good? Well, if you're going to take a card, Pete's going to take a card. Uh, Two more cards are going to come yeah, out. Yeah. One of them is a wave. Boom. Yeah. Gone. Well, I got hit by the wave in the last thing. Though, and some... Stephen says, I don't see why it shouldn't. Yeah, I thought so. I've counted it um, as... I'll take the one at the far end, please. The mountains up here. Thank yeah, you. I was going to have that one. Thank you. Least, do they slide down before I... Uh... Oh, it's a good point, actually. I think last time we did it, we did. Yeah, do but that. this that's digging. This is oh, snapping. Okay. So I think this is only going to fill, refill at the end of your turn. Right. So I think it might be okay. And I get a level two. Yeah. Space thing. Thanks. <clears throat> Thank you. I'm going to snap, Martin. Okay. So. Finally, <laughs> good cards. Right, and now she'll go. Pete's go, yeah. Okay, sponsors at level five. I'm playing Zoo School. So I get one of those, which gets me a card from within reputation range. Yep. Deck. I get one of those. And that goes there. Do not get a building as well. I think it's it building. does get a building as well, which has to go on two, two edge spaces. And you get a, yeah, you've done that. And that yeah. Is that it? That's it. Well, there's only one place it can't. No, there's two places it could go there, but I'll put it here because it gets me five, five money. money. 
Have we missed a break? We forgot to reset it. Thank you, Chrissy. How was your game night? What did you end up playing? You done? Yeah. Right. So, I can get stuff. All of these I want. Look at that! Four cubes. Oh, I, I should have. Size two enclosure. Yeah, I've done that. And I snapped a card. Yeah. So, yeah, that's done. Yeah. That is. That very, have, very good. Would have been amazing at the beginning, but we. And I can have that. Can God, you play you it? Level two animals to play. I do. Have you got yeah. anywhere you can put it? I've got four spaces. Of course, you've got your underwater tunnel. Yeah. God, it's got to be done, hasn't it? It's, got his it's absolutely got to be done. So, animals. Animals for five. And the first animal I'm going to play is this one, which costs me four. Plus 23. It's 27. Minus three. 24. Two, three, four. Right. So, this is a coastal manta ray. Got four cubes. So he lives in here on Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. <laughs> here Thursdays and Fridays, and then he goes and sees his uncle at the weekend. Uh, so the first reef dweller ability is one conservation point. Then I trigger all of my other reef dweller abilities, and I can get that back, which I forgot to take back anyway. It shouldn't have even been there. Um, Get a pavilion or a kiosk. Space. Let's have a pavilion there, which gives me one appeal. Um, I can sell an X token for five money or buy an X token for five money. Let's sell an X token for five money. Right. Then I get one reputation. I get eight appeal. And glide three. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> I can't use it though. Discard up to three cards from your hand for every sea creature that you discard, gain either that, that, or that, which is really good, but I can't have any of those. Anyway, happy with that. Coastal Manta Ray. It's coming in a bit too late, but that's the first animal played. Now, my second animal, I could buy this. which costs me 1 plus 14 is 15. I have an associated university, so it's going to cost me 12. And this is going to take up a size 1 enclosure. doesn't have to be anywhere, so let's flip that one. And it's got 4 appeal. 1, 2, 3, 4. And it's got snapping 1. So I can take any one card from the display. Hmm. Well... I want that one, that one, that one, and that one. <laughs> because they are, they are all... Okay, so maybe not that one, because I've only got small reptiles. <clears throat> I need to hate dig, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but this one... No, that's actually not going to help me too much. This one, however... Ah, you see, the thing is, I'm at, I'm at my maximum of reputation. So all this is, is two conservation points. It's not that good. But yeah, both both of these are... Yeah, I'll take that one. Right, I think that's me done. So I played two animals. Did I flip over my things? I did. Right, let's see how many waves we get. Nope, 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 no waves. Could save four cash by playing those animals the other way around. Could I? How could I save four cash by playing them the other way around? What have I missed? How would that have helped me? I'm not sure how that would have helped me. Um, 
Who was it that made that? Uh, Paul, and the message has been retracted. Okay. So my go? Yeah. yeah. Uh, go for animals. First animal. <clears throat> Indian peafowl. Cost me 15 because I've got uh, association in Europe. No, that's Asia, sorry. Um, and it's going to go here. <clears throat> and it's got posturing two, which means I can place a free kiosk or pavilion twice. Yep. Two more kiosks, uh, two more pavilions. Yep. And I also again. gain seven. And another seven. Uh, so I'll put one there. Oh, very close on appeal. Yeah. Uh, so that's animal one. Animal two. Um, Have you had your? Oh no, it's just two animals. You've not upgraded it. Upgraded what? Uh, your animals card. So you no, get, you don't get the reputation as well. No. <laughs> Are you like rubbing it? <laughs> no, no, no. no. Uh, oh, I don't know. Um, now the should go for that, I suppose. Let's go for a mountain tapir. Tapir. Oh no, it's a herbivore. Can't play that. How much money do you get if I play it? Herbivores. You get three money. I get three money. Oh, it's not... oh okay. Yeah. I'm not going to let that influence my decision. You get three money. Hey. Um, I play 15. And I get... Um, it has to be a rocky place, which is this is. And uh, I get um, one conservation for uh, rep uh, appeal, and I get to dig two. So choose up to two, discard one card from the display, and replenish or discard from a hand and draw one from the deck. Um, given there's not a great deal of use on the board from my point of view, I mean I could try and hate dig as i put it but uh what's the, uh i think i'll just try and get stuff that might be useful so i'm going to draw two from the deck or draw one from the deck and then discard and then do that again with digging um no no, no. digging two sorry yeah so it's the way around it's discard and then draw oh discard then draw yeah okay sorry well i'm gonna draw, i'm gonna do that anyway but, um Oh man. So I can't play that. It's not possible for me to play that. So I'll get rid of that on please. And okay. So you discard and draw. Draw. And then you can do that again. And then yeah. Again, okay, that's not possible for me to play, so discard. And draw. Thank you. Oh. Done. All finished? Yeah. That's a very association uh, I would do the new scoring Scott but I haven't written the numbers on here so I, I wouldn't be able to work it out so it'll be old scoring so doing association uh, now my special ability is that I can place an additional worker to reduce the required strength by two each oh, so nice. I'm going to do that and place an X which means that that association is at level Oh, it doesn't need to be at five, does it? I don't need to play next. It's level if you're four. four. At level yeah. four. Um, I take this um, to get you a double, I get, take double science, <laughs> uh, which gets me two um, oh. of these. Nice. One, so which another, one, another of one of those. Is. And another X. Another X. Um, and that's my go. Yeah, it's hurting me not, not being in here. So I was looking at this, but this doesn't really do anything for me. I need to get my association up to five, and it's only on two, mm. which means I need to do other stuff. Um, am I going to be able to get six, six herbivores icons before the end of the game? No, absolutely not. How many have I got? One. <laughs> so...
I think I'm just going to sponsor and we're going to break five to get 10 money and I'm going to discard that for another uh, four money. So I get 14 money. And that's it. Moving my cards down. So I'm going to build. I build uh, a petting zoo and uh, another pavilion. Um, thanks. And it cost me eight. Not that that's really relevant at this point. Oh, thank you. And that's your board filled. It is. So you get seven appeal. I need it, is it? Yeah. And I can take a card. Mm -hmm. So cool. From the, from the deck or from him within reputation. Um, so I'm going to. Still nothing I want on the table. So I'll take a card. I get two cards, do I? Um, sorry. I forgot where I am now. Um, so I just did a um, build and uh, yeah, because I covered up, it's because I covered up that, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'll just take in a card from the deck. Okay. Yeah. You all done? Sorry. Yeah. For some reason I thought well, I needed two cards, but um, I was in my imagination. Yeah. Okay. Done. Building. Um, I'm going to build two and a three. Six. I need to build four. So I get closure. So that's a total of cost me eight. eight. Okay, that's my go. Okay, I'll play the cards action. Break two, draw two, which cannot be anywhere. That's me done. Association. So I get. Oh, I don't want to do that. Hmm. That's quite interesting. Yes, yeah, so I already moved it down. Sorry, I did it. But uh, association five. So, um, I'm gonna put. Well, sorry, I've got five points of association to play. I can't actually get any of these now. Oh, okay. Um, so I'm gonna go here for two. Yeah. Which gains me. Um, no, it's not that. This. It's th this, but that will gain me one of those. Yeah. And a card draw. Yeah. Which can be from yeah, and uh, and then I've got three more points to get, which I can get. Um, oh, uh, there's something. Yeah. So I'll take the um, the other one. I've taken Australia, or I could go there again and play two dudes. Are you doing the action twice? Yeah. Are you doing it twice? Because I've got five points of association. Ah, um, right, okay. So I could go there and then there again. Yeah, I believe three, so. Three total. Yeah. And that will gain me an X and then another card. Yeah. And put me closer to that. But close enough, apparently. Um, I might just go for the Australia icon. Yeah, I forgot that you can split the association points. Yeah. Oh. Stephen says you cannot do the same association action twice in a turn. Okay, All right. so you can't. I'll do that then. Only cost one. Only one, yeah, sorry. Um, and I don't know how this, so I'll do this. And that gives me another dude. Which gets you two of those and triggers the end of the game. How does it? Uh, uh, well, you've won. Right. Quite convincingly. Well, that's a bit of a shocker. I didn't think I'd win that, but I needed another asterisk. Three turns. 
So we finish the round, don't we? Right. So boom, 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 boom. we finish. If they're in the same scoring area. The end of the game is triggered. The player who triggered the end of the game will complete their turn, and then all of the players will take one turn. Well, I've already. Oh, I can make a donation. So I better do that, right? It's, uh, yep. It's an extra three points. Well, all of these cards that I've been saving up, ready to do something. Yeah. Not going to happen. I've got stuff I wanted to do stuff with, but it's just better to end the game, I yeah, think. It is, because I'm going to build. And I'm going to spend eight. Uh, and I'm going to build a petting zoo. Just to fill up the space, basically. Um, and let's have another pavilion. If in doubt, build a pavilion. That's not a petting zoo. Can't find the petting zoo, so I'm going to take a meerkat pen instead. Which gets me an X. Not that that does anything. Put that there. Which That's gets me one petting zoo. Here. You found it. Okay, thank you. Mm. What am I going to do? And. Oh, you, you should be going before me. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I could have done the briefing. <laughs> yeah, well. I've got that. But... I didn't make it I uh, think you've got my hand. But well, I've linked them together, which means I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, one more turn and I got to there. Yep. Got loads of animals to play as well. Yeah. I don't know what happened to that card that gives me income from other people's kiosks. I must have discarded it by accident. Cause... Mm. It's not on the floor, is it? <laughs> mm. I don't see it. I think I must have, like, when I discarded a card, I just must have discarded the wrong one. Rob could go America's for two with the Wazza token. Yeah, you've still got a Wazza token. So you, you could have done that. Right. But you, you, I think you've yeah. got two anyway. Yeah, I've got three actually. You got three because I got one I, from I going up, up onto here, and then that unlocked this. We've got another three. Two. Yeah. So yeah, but yeah. Okay, I'm going to do an association. And boost it up to five with X's. And place this guy here, and I've got an extra university, but I filled it up already. Um, you don't get anything for money or X's or anything at the end of the game, no. so um, I'll just put that one there. I've got four research icons, so I get three. That's it. Okay, and then I, I built and filled my board and got seven appeal. And I thought that there was going to be another break, so I left a space for two, but um, I missed out. Never mind. Okay, so we are done. So my underwater tunnel at the end of the game, because it connects both of my aquariums, gets me five. Nice. And I've got the architectural zoo, and I get four. Conservation points. So, two, three, four. so it's only these that will count. Any the brown game. ones. Yeah. What you got? And your so, end game scoring. So I've got one extra for supporting five on a conservation. Oh, two extra, because I've got those on fives. Just game one. No, that's that's for supporting five conservation projects. Oh, okay. It says five for five supports of conservation projects. Yeah. Okay. So you're on oh. your own. So, All right, that sounds quite hard to do and not very worthwhile. <laughs> uh, so this one doesn't do anything. I haven't got any isolated water spaces. Is it? Oh, it's isolated water spaces. Yeah. Oh, okay, right. Uh, game one, if all placement bonuses are covered. Well, your board is covered, so yes. Yeah. So, so you, okay. get, you get one. Well, yeah. And game one, if I have nine, yep. education. And your final scoring card? Final scoring card is science-based. How many um, icons have you got? I have seven, I think. So um, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. I think I have four, five, six. Ah, maybe I've only got one, two, three. 
Yeah. Six. Six. That's what I thought I had. Okay. And I just got three. Three. Right. There you go. The Rob wins with some score. <laughs> I can't remember where did that go? That goes on there. And then okay. you count the space between that one right. and that some one. Some positive score. 18. Right. I scored two. Right. I scored minus, minus, something. minus something. Well, it was an asterisk on my win though, wasn't it? Because of the... Uh... Thing. Yeah, but I don't. I don't know whether that would have changed things. Mm. It would I think have made all the difference. I'm I, sure. Of that. I would have definitely played differently if I'd have yeah. known about the placement. Rules. And this was our first game with the expansion. The expansion yeah. definitely adds. Hang on, before we start putting weapons away and stuff, just because it makes a noise. Yeah, yeah. Um, it definitely adds quite a lot of extra stuff. Mm. And I think one of the downsides for me playing this today was that the last few games I've played have been on Board Game Arena. So thank you to everybody watching in the chat for pointing out all of the little things. Mm. Because if it weren't for people pointing out mm. those things, we would have made yeah. a million more mistakes and, and the whole game would have been effectively null and void. I don't think mm. I would have got through two turns without making about 100 mistakes. Yeah. 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 Um, so yeah, so huge thank you to everybody for uh, for watching. Yellow could also make a donation as well. Yeah. Hey. Um, I like the expansion. I don't, I mean, it does add some extra interesting parts to it, but it's not an expansion that I would want to use unless you've played the base game mm. three or four times because it's already a heavy game yeah. and the expansion does add maybe 5% more What's it complexity, be? maybe 10, mm -hmm. not, not much complexity. More. I mean, if you already know enough, comfortable and familiar with the base game, yeah. albeit that we've played it so many times on BGA that we're making loads of mistakes, but we all know the basic game quite yeah. well. And so adding in the extra complexity didn't really, I don't think that phased anybody at all, did it? It wasn't really making the game any more difficult. It just made it more interesting. It added extra stuff. There were new cards that I weren't sure how they worked. Yeah. Um, and that partner university thing, I didn't realise they were all partner universities. Mm. But would I have taken that one anyway? If Possibly, you're, you're because by taking them. that one, it allowed me to go looking and I found another fish. Um, the, the reef effects are... The reef effects are, are interesting, but again, I don't think they're that complicated. No. Your shark, I thought that was going to just... Mm. I mean, there were three turns where he just went, oh yeah, eat something, eat something, and... No, all the that was down to the way I played it, because if I'd hung on to the additional reef fit, I thought I was going to get more reef fish, and then they just dried up completely. Because yeah. if I, there was the elephant just sailed by, the mm -hmm. dugong sailed by. I actually used that, and I gained a, a th three points, because a, a four animal and a three animal got eaten. Yeah. If that had been a ten animal and a nine animal, which yeah. actually drifted past, and I, I didn't have the cards to play, yeah. that would have made a big difference to my points. Mm. I think what well, it went wrong for me in the middle of the game. I think at the start, messed up the start, but then got through that and I had a really good bit. But then in the middle of the game, it just stalled. I ran out of cards. I didn't have a way of really getting cards. The cards that I did draw were rubbish. And then I lost out on this. That that yeah. is the biggest thing for me. That's a bit of a killer. Because I was I had four. I was going for the fifth. And then at the point I realised I wasn't going to get the fifth. Oh no, I've got the five, but I had the four. I thought, right, I'll just make do with the four. Yeah. My association card was down here. Mm. And then you got the five, you got the four, and I'm like, oh, mm. well, I'll get the two. And that well, that a... was massive, because I was going for that mm. right well, I had start a terrible there. start, because I couldn't use any of my cards. Yeah. None of them. I could not play a single card. Um, that That's probably the worst card draw that I've ever had in this game. Um, and... But there's no point complaining about it because everybody else is it, in a similar yeah, boat. Yeah. But there it's, is that little bit of luck and randomness yeah. with the... the, the yeah, it's interesting it. how I only did two of these. You've only done two. You've only done three. Normally yeah. I do five or six of them. Because I go, right, what is it? Australia and America. Right, I'll go for Australia and America. And I just... I mean, I wanted to do the fishes. Mm. But... Yeah, but I, had just, three, just... I had three Australia icons. I had another one in my in my hand, but that dugong would have given me the two that made me five, and I was going to go for that. And right. I had my sight set on that. I was building my first my, a few turns around it, and then I suddenly realised, oh no, yeah, it needs two it more, and I've only water. got one because that another five um, would have made a big difference. Yeah, 
I think there's more interesting stuff going on with the card and the hand management. You know, there is. The digging and stuff like yeah. that. There's and the more, waves. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. The waves was needed in order to cycle the deck more. Yeah, because otherwise good. you are yeah. adding 50 cards to the yeah. deck and you're going to see even less of it. So Pushing through the deck <clears> is great. So that, that that's a that's a simple thing that they've added in that's, that's good. Mm. But yeah, I found that yeah, the complexity of the game rules-wise, not that much extra. But suddenly I had more things to think about. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's and more easy to mess up with the planning it's as well. more easy to mess up with the planning especially with the placement of stuff and, I mean yeah. we all we all did the aquariums yeah. I don't know whether we all did the aquariums because we wanted to see the new stuff yeah. or would you actually just go I'll tell you what I'm not going to bother with those but because that came out yeah. but for me it was a limiting wanted. factor that you can only build two aquariums I mean okay so you got yeah. the underwater tunnel but the, yeah. the limitation of two aquariums yeah but a lot yeah. of the fishes are small yeah. I couldn't build a five one because I, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's that's huge because of the board. Yeah, mainly. but I wanted to build. I wanted to build more fish. And yeah. I couldn't. Um, I I I I really like. I mean the the um the the extra cards the the enhanced uh, yeah. action cards. I think they're great. That's nice. And what's interesting is that they are just better. Yeah. So suddenly mm. we've all got two cards which are mm. better than the original one. So we're all more powerful. We've all got mm. a little extra superpower. Yeah. Here. Yeah, kind of make that, it more that's, asymmetric, that's doesn't great. it? That's great. I I love the reef effects. I like the fish. Um, in fact, I, I I like everything about the expansion. I don't think there's anything. Yeah, I don't think there's anything bad about no. it. Um, some extra little bonus tiles, yeah. which which are quite yeah. nice as well. I mean, the one thing about Art Nova that you have to kind of accept is the randomness because mm -hmm. there are so many cards. Yeah. And you can, and the randomness of the um, of the herbivores, of the, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that was just the, silly. The randomness of the end game scoring cards um, is 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 a, is a thing. But I got, got four to... for mine. Did got, you get? I got three. You got three. You got four for yours. Mm. Yeah. Just looking for the herbivores. See where they are. There's one. Yeah. Yeah. They're they're in here. And 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 I think so long as you can kind of accept and roll with the the, the randomness i mean yeah. I, I did play with somebody on bga uh real t real time uh -huh. ra random person i never played with before and almost from the beginning he said i'll just hurry up and get to halfway points or whatever it was because i want to res i want to concede because right. he had a bad card draw at the yeah. beginning and and i thought well i might have had a bad card draw as well but he didn't take that into account that's but, the interesting thing with the game it's it is a big deck of unique cards yeah. and you can get really lucky yeah. You know, I could have drawn loads of Australian sea animals at the start, yeah. for example. Yeah. But there's so many little decisions that you have to make mm. in this game from one mm. turn to the next. Mm. I think if you are lucky, you're going to have a bit of a head start. Mm. <clears throat> but I'm not saying you can work your way out of a terrible situation. I don't know. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. You know, I was lucky at the start. I had a size five animal. Mm. I put it in here. And then I randomly drew the card that yeah. said release a size five animal from Asia into the wild. Yeah. And I got five conservation points like a few turns into the game. That's normally a winning move. Getting the early conservation points and mm. getting uh, getting mm. this or getting this early is is mm. powerful. Mm. And then I had a size five thing to go back in the enclosure. I thought this fantastic. This is great. But where games like this really work for me is that although you're trying to win it's not the actual winning which is what the game is all about because you're having so much it, fun it's about doing your thing doing your stuff and yeah. thinking about your board and working on stuff and making plans and then getting frustrated with it that's what the game is all yeah. about so so whether you actually win or not i mean you, you want to obviously mm. but whether you actually win or not is secondary to the yeah. gameplay but i i didn't enjoy that period from about halfway through yeah. to about 80 percent of the way through where i just mm got yeah. stuck so my game just I, took I, ages to get I, I, didn't, I, was... I didn't have the cards yeah. and i didn't feel i was building stuff yeah yeah just because i knew i wanted to fulfill my i wanted to complete the board for that yeah so i was building stuff randomly but i just didn't that's why i think you know i didn't have direction upgrading cards is really useful because it, you know even if you're going to end up discarding them you can still see a lot yeah, more cards but... and especially well, with digging, always... digging as well i that's... needed to but i needed to upgrade the build card mm. that's absolutely mm. essential yeah. I needed to upgrade the association to do all the donations. I didn't need to upgrade animals. Yeah. But because I rarely used that. Yeah. So I perhaps should have just kept that. Well, upgrading animals gives you the I'm extra 
point yeah. here each time you do it at level five, which is very, very valuable. So you get all of well, when I talk to Ray, I've got nine. Well. Yeah. I, couldn't, I couldn't get any further out. Yeah, the cards one is one that I don't generally upgrade. I always yeah. do, because you, otherwise you can't progress yeah. here. Mm -hmm. There's lots of goodies down here. Plus, there's quite a few um, bonus cards which actually give you stuff if you get down there. Yeah. So, I mean, upgrading animals is not... You're not going to get most of the benefit no. from this unless you've all upgraded cards. Which is true. Yeah, that was that was a mistake I think I made. Although, mm. did I need to upgrade the animals for any of these? I did. That. That was when I thought my game was going to turn around. Because I played it, I got loads of stuff from it, I got loads of extra stuff, and I thought, great. Yeah. But actually, it was just a little, a little boost, and there was no long-term effect for it. So... But, well, I really enjoyed that. Yeah. Mm. And I would definitely buy the expansion and i would probably with experienced players who already know the game i would think everybody will want to play it with the expansion if it weren't for all of the new games that have just come out at essen i will now i would now be playing this as regularly as i did when it came out okay. and i think i must have played it about yeah. 10 times in that first six months when it came out and this has given it a refresh that makes you want to play it. Yeah, I mean, again. I'm playing the base game on Board Game Arena now, which is great. Yeah. But yeah, I, I now want to play this repeatedly. And unfortunately, there's lots of other great games that have come out mm -hmm. at Essen um, yeah. recently. So. So do we give this the thumbs up? I don't think. Yeah. Well, as, as we said, I don't think there's anything bad about the expansion. The expansion mm -hmm. contains lots of lots of good stuff. I would just recommend you don't go into the expansion until you are yeah. comfortable yeah. with the base game. Yeah, I mean, I've only played the base game three times, so right. You know, but you played it threw me off twice in the last month. Yeah, recently. So yeah. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't make it doesn't fall into the trap that you sometimes get into with expansions, a kind of expansionitis. Uh, <laughs> it, it just it doesn't make the game any better. It just makes it lo sometimes that can happen. It just makes it longer, and whereas this doesn't, this just yeah. this wasn't any longer. I mean, it's a good three and a bit hours, isn't it? Well, we've been thinking to this is our first game with the expansion, so tonight's playthrough is going to be. Yeah. Longer than it would be normally. I dread to think what time it was because I wanted an early night. Yeah, it's 20 to midnight. Is it? So we've been three and a half hours, but we probably would be three hours. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we spent half an hour undoing all of the mistakes that we made mm. and fixing mm. it. But it is a good three hour game, isn't it? It I is. Know, but, it um, is. But there's no, it doesn't feel too long. It never does. No. And I, th I think the, the reason why tonight's playthrough was slower is because new stuff, yeah. having to rethink things and just mm. having to work things I mean I was catching up I mean it's such a slow start I mean I was all the way down here forever but mm. then I mean I ended up here so mm. and I had to ask for clarifications on a number of things yeah so. Stephen saying one of his favorite editions are the new conservation projects which yeah I did see one of them and it was one of the things that I was going to play really early on you know when I had those eight cards in hand yeah and they all comboed together um it one of them was a conservation project that required Two predators. Where is it? Well, there, there's that one, the reptile management plan. So mm -hmm. it, it, you just need to have two reptiles. So actually, these ones are relatively easy to do. Um, and I, I had a card that I had the predator management plan in hand, and I had that. So basically, I was like, well, I'll play that, and then I've done that. So they are similar. Hmm. to the normal conservation projects um yeah the ones where you need one of them and the partner zoo hmm. it just it just requires two of the icons hmm. so these these are new ones <clears throat> that are in there um but they give all sorts of different different bonuses so these are these are prerequisites as well are they these symbols that's no that's just, just um, but in this case it is we need to have two that's just telling you what is needed for the card. Okay. All right. Yeah. So it's just a visual indicator that yeah, that's yeah. what it like. That one's okay. counting research icons. That one's right. counting that okay. one. You need two predator icons. There, yeah, that's the one. Right. So there, there, that's the old one. That's the new one. Right. And it requires a partner zoo and okay. one of them and a partner zoo. Right. Whereas that one just requires two icons. So I think these okay. are slightly easier to do. Right. So this is not really a requirement. But there's no point in playing it. Because you wouldn't get any. Oh, you have to have. Yeah, you'd have to have two sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, the little sculpted figures are cute. Yeah, the, these these are an extra thing with it. The again, it's just it's just little blink. A little bit of blink. Little bit yeah. of blink. Um, 
Yeah, quite nice. Mm. And then new tokens for these, mm. which is quite nice rather than the opposite. But, but again, you don't need that. They just they just put that in there. <clears throat> a bit sad I didn't get the penguins out. Yeah. <laughs> right, we're all done. Thank you very much, you two, for thank you. Yeah, thank for you. playing. That was that was that was very good. I hope you've enjoyed it. As I mentioned at the start, this is not a sponsored playthrough. If it was a sponsored playthrough, I would have probably taken two practice games before doing it because there's there's no way that I would have done this without a couple of practice games if it was a, a sponsored video. Um, but yeah, thank you very much to all of my patron supporters for funding the channel. And if you like the content that I create and you want to continue to uh, well, you want to help me to continue to make these videos patreon.com forward slash gaming rules over the next well in fact over the last two weeks we've done uh what have we done we've done this we've done kootenai horror we've done evacuation we've done white castle none of those have been sponsored next week we've got uh Kutna horror coming again on wednesday which i haven't told anybody yet um but i'm going to be doing Kutna horror again on wednesday and on friday we're going to be doing plant and nubo uh again none of these are sponsored so these are all funded through patreon uh, then we've got Gridcon, and then after Gridcon will be Evenfall. And then it'll be the Revive expansion, the Bitoka. I've got loads. Basically, the next three months is going to be uh, lots and lots of non-sponsored videos of all of the new games from Essen. Um, yeah, plenty to look forward to. By the end of February, I think I might have actually got through everything. I think I've worked it out. End of February. Um, but yeah, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And... Um, if you aren't in a position to be able to support me financially on Patreon, what you can now do is you can go to the Patreon page and you can join as a free member. And what that will do is that will ensure that you do get notifications of any of the posts that I make on Patreon without giving me any money. So, uh, yeah, if you want to join up and you can do that. Right. We're all done. Thank you very much for watching. See you all next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.